I had a great day. I had a great boxing day. If I'm from, did you take a? Did you ride Cat in the Hat? What? There's like three different ones. The one where where you ride the couch. Oh yeah, that was awful. Yeah, it looks. We had an express pass though, so it it was a 20 minute ride. It looks like it's gonna be a little kiddie ride, and it spins you. Then you get on there, and the couch will make you sick. It'll. It's terrible. By the way. Right if after. you go without an express pass, it's completely pointless. You have to go with the express pass. No, the express pass. pass. If you don't get an express pass at these amusement parks, you're going to ride two rides. Stop going. And be t- miserable yeah, don't even the whole get, time. Don't even go. No. Don't even go. You know, here's the thought, though. We, were, we left probably around 7, 8 o'clock. And while we were leaving, we rode Dueling Dragons twice. We went front row both times, blows fire and ice. And the wait times when we were leaving... Were cut down. Hulk was only at thirty minutes. Dueling Dragons only at like ten minutes. Hulk's terrible. So Hulk's if you so Hulk is not terrible. If you terrible. time Hulk's this one of the best right, rides there. If you time this thing right and get into the park at eight o'clock, if you're if you're a local, you could oh, probably yeah, you bust could, out oh, no, all of them. No, I I used to have I have the season passes to uh, Universal, and uh, my uh, second wife would fly out of Orlando. She was she was she's a uh, computer consultant. She'd fly all over the country doing computer stuff. So I would take her to this airport on Sundays. At like her flight would leave at six, and then I'd book it over to Universal. Hey, and there I'd you go. go. I'd go stand in line for five minutes to ride the Mummy, five minutes to ride Hulk, five minutes to ride. Mummy Spider-Man. is very good. I like mummy. The mummy. I've ridden them. I was one of the beta testers on Mummy. I actually rode Mummy one day, twenty six times in a row without Ow. getting off, while the lights were on and everything, as they were beta testing it with people on the ride. I don't know how you didn't get sick of that. The mummy's great. I love that ride. The Mummy's one of the best rides there. You know, when I took a tour of USF over the summer, just uh, obviously I'm now a senior. I'm going to be looking at what colleges I want to go to. USF. I talked about amusement parks to them, and they said, this is what we have offered at USF. We have a park pass for Bush Gardens where the bus from USF will come pick you up and drop you off, and front drop gate. You off at the front gate, yep. and it's for like a fraction of the cost. Oh, yeah. It's a seasonal oh, pass. Yeah. Season pass, bro. I don't know. Of course. I might be a bull. Bush Gardens, though. The roller coasters at Bush Gardens are amazing. Rest of Bush Gardens, kind of lame. Mm, very lame. The roller coasters are great, but the but the you know, rest of Bush Gardens, kind of lame. I do want to go to Six Flags. That's no, on you know, my bucket. Six list. Flags over Georgia. Is it overrated? No, yeah, no, you don't. I've, been, overrated. I've been to Six Flags San Antonio. It's okay. Six Flags over Six Flags San Antonio. Six Flags over Texas and San Antonio. Yeah, much better than Six Flags over Georgia. Well, that was a buzzkill. I was employed. At Six Flags, Georgia. <laughs> I was a ride. I was a ride uh, uh, attendant at the Great American Scream Machine. Were you one of those very friendly people? And pointing? the Georgia Cyclone. <laughs> I no, can I'd see you like, now with the. I, mean, I want to ride the front. I don't care, <laughs> Brat. Get in the back. That's where you're riding. <laughs> no, I was not a nice guy at Six Flags, but nobody is. You know, it's one of those places. I got one summer I was assigned to be the ride attendant at a monster plantation, and it's like it's a small world except they use monsters and everything. It's, it's mm. like the it's like the haunted mansion at uh, oh, okay. Disney, but they use you know a different thing, and they played the music in a loop. I'm 47 years old. To this day, oh. I still know that grating on your nerves song. I, I'll go to my deathbed being able to sing that song. Terrible ride. That's the thing. They listen to no, the same stay thing. Stay out of the marsh. Every oh, yeah, day. Terrible. terrible. Every day. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. Hey, on today's show, we have two great guests, Chuck Gallagher. He's a nationally known ethics expert and commentator. He's authority on second chances. Uh, he's also the author of Second Chances, Transforming Adversity into Opportunity. He's going to join us to continue the discourse we have had in recent days about the comments made by Phil Robertson, the dad from Duck Dynasty. Also today, we have Powell Latimer from Warchant.com. Uh, he's going to come on during the sports hour, getting us ready for Florida State versus Auburn in the BCS national title game, January 6th. It's not that far away now. You know, it seems like it's still, what is it away still? The 27th, 4, and it's 10 days away. How many bowl games have you watched? None. Zero. Yeah, I've n- None. I have not watched any. Also, it's Ask the Cops. And we'll be playing a recent Ask the Cops as Buddy Martin, Chief Greg Graham, and Sheriff Chris Blair are all on holiday break. It is Community Gazette Day brought to you by Gateway Bank. We'll be back live, like I said, at Gateway Bank next Friday for our first Community Gazette Day of the year of the new year. Well, today, Josh, you weren't here yesterday. We had the top 10 through 6 stories of the year. We're going to give you the top five stories of the year 
We'll also go through 10 through 6 today just to let you remember where it goes. But we'll finish the list. And then it's Faker Factoid. Austin will take on Josh LaSalva. And we'll also have tweets and quotes. Then, Josh, you have your high school athletic spotlight focusing on the Kingdom of the Sun basketball tournament. Mm. That gets kicks off today. today. Yep. Today. So all that coming up in a very full Voice of Ocala Community Gazette Day on 1370. Brought to you by Gateway Bank on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA. The source. Since 1976, Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer, has been fighting for accident victim justice in North Central Florida and statewide. He believes everyone in America should follow the rules, including the insurance companies. He and his firm have experience fighting for victims of personal injury, wrongful death, workers' compensation, and Social Security disability, as well as serving those in need of help with bankruptcy, simple wills, and estate plans. The mission at the law offices of Daniel L. Hightower, PA, is to represent deserving clients and recover the maximum benefits they entitled to by law in a timely manner. In personal injury and workers' compensation cases, there are no fees or costs unless a recovery is made. The law office of Daniel L. Hightower is located at 7 East Silver Springs Boulevard, Suite 300. For your free consultation, call 352-629-7777 or 1-888-LAW-1976 and visit danhightower.com for more information. Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice and the proud sponsor of Ask the Cops. This reprise of Ask the Cops is proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. Is there one or two things that in particular that either or both of you can think of at the holiday time to be more aware of, more alert for, or just everything times 10? Well, I think it's everything times 10. You know, it's, it, anything can take place, you know. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is is that when you're coming out of businesses shopping at night, you know, we always recommend that you, you travel with someone, um, especially for the ladies that if they're out there by themselves, you know, ask management to, to walk them out or something. Just make sure that you don't go out by yourself mm-hmm. because they're watching. I mean, mm-hmm. there's people out there that will watch. Um, and Predators then, right there in the parking yeah, lot waiting. And, and, you know, either they're going to grab your purse or they're going to grab uh, your gifts. So uh, you just need to be very cautious. And I highly recommend that you, you shop with someone. I think it's just so important. Join us for Ask the Cops on The Voice of Ocala. Hello, it's Santa. Chris Spears here from Prestes Auto Sales in Ocala, and we're on a mission to help everyone within the sound of my voice. This week, get the appraised value of your old car, plus up to $3,758 off a nicer, newer car. Our For the People credit approval process will get you approved. But like Santa, we can only do this once a year, so hurry in. Or call 694-1234. See our Prestige. At the source, WOCA, we recently completed our 12 Days of Christmas promotion, and our big winner at the end of the promotion was Ann Hamilton. Ann Hamilton, you are our big winner in the 12 Days of Christmas promotion. How did it feel when you heard your name said on the air? I just couldn't believe it. I thought maybe I was dreaming even I was standing up in the kitchen fixing my lunch. I just couldn't believe it. I'm just so excited. So you were listening to the source, WOCA, and you knew it was time to pick a name. What did you say? I said said, say Ann Hamilton. And they did. And I said, did they really? I would, And then my phone went down. I got so excited. It, this is just so wonderful. This station is the greatest. I mean, it's exciting. I listen all the time. I just love it. <laughs> it's like a family. Well, Merry Christmas, Ann. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's everywhere in, in Ocala. It's just so wonderful. and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. Legally Yours, brought to you by Fuller & Fuller Attorneys at Law. On the air every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller, right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. We're 
We're back on The Voice of Ocala. Obviously, Austin uh, really likes playing the same music over and over and over. We'll have to work on that, fix that. When's JJ coming back? I've only played that song twice, Tom. JJ, when's JJ coming back? I think he's on vacation. He's on vacation permanently. Let's get right into the top stories of uh, 2013. This is The Voice of Ocala on a Community Gazette Day. Brought to you by Gateway Bank. We're live inside the palatial studios at WOCA. On break from uh, Gateway Bank, we'll be back at Gateway Bank next Friday for the first Community Gazette Day of the new year. Buddy Martin will be back. It is Ask the Cops today. We'll be playing a recent Ask the Cops brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, lawyer fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. Sheriff Blair, Chief Graham, Buddy Martin, all on Christmas break. So we're going to replay a recent Ask the Cops with those three guys. But we are recapping the top stories of 2013. Yesterday we gave you six through uh, ten. Recapping those real quick. Number ten, the Aaron Hernandez arrest. Come in as the number top ten story of the year. The number nine story of the year, the Paula Dean lawsuit where in a deposition she said some racial slurs. Admitted to saying racial slurs. Number seven, the new pope, the papal transition, as one pope retired, which had never been done, and another pope takes the place, Pope Francis steps in. Tied for number seven, the North Korean missile crisis, the threat of the North Korean uh, missile threats, and Phil Robertson's comments, the Duck Dynasty father's comments. And number six on the list, the Syrian civil war. Up, 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 unrest in the Middle East, Syrian civil war coming at six. Now let's go to our top five stories of 2013. We'll comment a little on each one. Number five, the George Zimmerman trial. Made huge news here in Central Florida. May go down as the number one story of the year in Central Florida, but didn't quite garner the, 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 the coverage Casey Anthony got the year before. No. But George Zimmerman, the number five story in the United States, according to Yahoo and Google, the number five research story in the U.S. in the year 2013. You think that was a big enough story to get there, Austin? Yeah. I mean, it, we, we certainly talked about it. Josh? I think Central Florida's having a bad rap yeah. for the past two years, man. Number, number four story of the year? The Royals having a baby. Mm. Big old don't care. Yeah, I don't care either. I don't know why that's the number four story. Ever. Number four, number four research story of the year: the royal baby. Now, research is that who like cares? Hmm. Hmm. Josh has got like his own little fan club walking by the window daily. He gets like three people in. I know. So, number four story of 2013, <laughs> according to Yahoo and Google, the royal baby. Shocker. That's going to change. I royally think that's a pain in the neck is what I think. <laughs> number three story of the year. How this is not number one is amazing to me. Number three story of the year, the Boston Marathon terrorist bomb. Really? That's mm. not number one. Number three of the year. Hmm. I, I think I think without a doubt this should be number one. Am I wrong Shut in that? Shut down the entire city uh, of Boston. Let's wait to see what one and two are, and then we can decide if that should be number one. Okay, that's good. That's fair it. enough. That's fair enough. Number two, Obamacare. <laughs> Obamacare, while important, I don't think is a bigger story than the Boston Marathon no, bombing. Yeah. I definitely think Boston Marathon, Marathon should at least be over that. Well, then Boston Marathon, in both of your estimations, should be number one. Two. I mean, no, well, it should be number the, one. Because well, well, what's one? Because then? number one. Oh no. The Jody Arias trial. That doesn't make sense at all. The Jody Arias trial trumps how Obamacare, the Olympic Park bombing, the royal baby, the George Zimmerman trial, the Syrian civil war, Phil Robertson's racist comments uh, uh, or, or homophobic comments, um, the North Korean missile threats, a new pope, Paula Dean's racial comments, and Aaron Hernandez getting arrested. Jody Arias tops all of those stories as the number one story of 2013. Does anybody, can, by way of a hand, do you know who Jody Arias is? See? No idea. They have no, no, no idea. Knows. 
But do you know what? Do you know who Jer Jody Arias is? That's this guy right here. You know yeah, who right Jody there. Arias is? You knew about the Boston uh, Marathon bombing, though, didn't you? See, I don't understand how Jody Arias is the story of the year above the Boston Marathon bombing. Are the people that look at Yahoo and Google just nuts? Wait, I look at Yahoo and Google. Yeah. <laughs> well, I use Bing. The whatever. number one no story one researched on Yahoo and Google, the Jody Arias trial. I would have never guessed that in a million, million guesses. I couldn't even tell you what that was about. I, I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, I, got, please. I couldn't tell you what it's about. I don't even know what Jody Arias is about. I don't even know who she is. How do you spell that? How that's a bigger story than Obamacare or the Boston Marathon bombing is crazy. Who is Jody Arias, Austin? Do you even know who she is? Uh, We're getting strange looks through the window. They don't know who Jody no, Arias is. No one knows. That's the problem. Nobody knows who this woman is. <laughs> but she's the number one story in 2013, according to Yahoo and Google. Jody Arias trial, number one. Arias, Obamacare. Arias was convicted in 2008 of killing her live-in boyfriend, Travis Alexander. She was convicted in 2008, 2013. Says, according to the thepoachtimes.com, she was convicted in, in 08. What? Well, that, why'd she have a trial in 2013? Uh, I don't know. Her next she hearing... She a retrial or something? Her next hearing is Friday, January 3rd, 2014. She must have got a retrial. Oh, yeah. She must have got a retrial. But Jody Arias, number one. Obamacare, the number two story. Re now, these are stories researched on Yahoo and Google. Number three, the Boston Marathon bombing. Number four, the royal baby birth. Number five, George Zimmerman trial. Number six, the Syrian civil war. Tied for number seven, the North Korean missile threats and Phil Robertson's comments. Number eight, the papal transition. Number nine, the Paula Dean lawsuit. And the number 10 story researched on Yahoo and Google, the Aaron Hernandez arrest. So there you have it, folks. The top 10 stories of 2013. How Jody Arias made number one is amazing. Happened in Phoenix, Arizona, so. Yeah, I, don't, I could care less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You ready to play a little faker factoid? Let's we do it. Got to get it going here. We got guests coming up and everything, so let's get a quick faker factoid in. You ready, Austin? Let's play it. You think you'll be able to beat Josh? Where's my music? I don't have any music. Yeah, up. I beat uh, Dan yesterday. I don't garner any music. Yeah, you do. You no beat music. Dan. Uh, okay, that's yeah, well. beat Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. <laughs> it's a big W under his belt. Yeah, he, he we beat Dan yesterday, so good Dan for thought you, he could, Dan thought he could come in. Dan and, did uh, think he could come in and just rule the place, and you schooled him. You, yeah, I will give you that. He's keeping score. I think, I don't know what music you're playing. That's not the Facts of Life music. That's the Price is Right music. Yeah, yeah Baker yeah. Factoid is what we're playing, sir. <laughs> When's JJ right. coming back? Permanent vacation. All right. We'll just go without the music until you can find it. Okay, here we go. We all heard the saying, laughter is the best medicine. But in 1989, a man named Ole Benst died while watching a fish called Wanda from laughing too much. Fact. Fake. It is fact. He went to the cinema to watch a fish called Wanda while watching a scene with John Cleese. He laughed so much his heart beat, beat up to almost 500 beats per minute, causing him to have a heart attack and die. It is a fact. Question two, the toothpaste company Colgate found it easier to advertise their product in Spanish-speaking countries rather than English-speaking countries. Fake or factoid? Fake. Fact. It's fake. They actually found it much harder in Spanish-speaking countries because Colgate in Spanish means go hang yourself. Oh, well, that's probably <laughs> problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Fake or factoid? Some men can breastfeed. Fake or fact? Fake. Oh my God! I don't know if I can answer the fact. It seems weird enough. Some to be men true. can breastfeed. Fake or fact? Fact. Fake. It's fact. Men also have mammary glands, and sometimes if these glands are very large, they can actually secrete milk. Health occupation taught me well at four. Number four. If a cockroach's head has been killed, ki cut off, it can still live for around a week. Fact. Fake. Cockroach does not need its head in order to breathe, so it is fact. But without its head, it cannot eat and drink, and therefore dies of starvation and hydrate dehydration in about a week. Give us the update. Two a, two a piece. You number five. Two. Number five. Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII, was beheaded on charges of witchcraft. 
fact. Fact. It's fake. Yeah. She was beheaded on charges of adultery with seven men, with several men, including her brother. Three piece. So now you're both out. So here we go. The 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 uh, the uh, tiebreaker. No, no, not tiebreakers. The, Mulligans. Uh, Mulligans. First Mulligan. The Canary Islands were formerly known as the Unfortunate Islands. Fake or factoid? Fact. Fake. For sake of argument, fake. It is fake. They were known as the yes. Fortunate Islands because of their temperate and near perfect climate. So Josh wins, but we'll just oh. go, go to this one. Wait, I don't get a mulligan? Yeah, you get a mulligan, another okay. mulligan. The pursuit of jumping off cliffs into the sea is termed tombstoning. Fact. I'll go fact as well. It is fact. It's the latest craze by people who are thrill seekers. It involves jumping from high points such as cliffs, harbor walls, and piers into the water. And then finally, the tiebreaker question, which is not needed because Josh already won. What is the population of the state of Florida? Austin? Uh, I have no idea. Do we even get like a help one million. on this? I, I one million. One million. No, I said one million. One million. Miami has over one million people. Jacksonville has over one million people. Five million. Tampa has over one million people. Okay, Tom. Five million. Five million. Uh, I'd probably go with like twelve. Josh wins. It's nineteen point three two million. I wasn't yeah, even I close no though. I was still seven million off. There you go. Faker factoid right there in the books. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, Chuck Gallagher. He joins us. He is a national expert of ethics. He uh, will join us talking about Phil Robertson, the Phil Robertson debacle. He's uh, written a book called Second Chances, Transforming Adversity into Opportunity. He'll join us when next. Talk about the comments Phil Robertson made, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Whenever something big happens in Ocala and Marion County, Buddy Martin is there on the case. Head coach of the Florida Gator basketball team, Coach Billy Donovan. How are you feeling right now about this team uh, in 2013 and 2014? You know, but I like these kids a lot. They've worked very hard. It's a good group. The most challenging part for me has been a coach has been the um, inconsistency of players in practice. So remember, always check out Buddy Martin on The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Hello, I'm Dawn Lovell, lead event designer and owner at Party Time Rentals. Have you ever wondered what it takes to make an event spectacular? Well, look no further. It's what we do every day. Whether you're hosting an intimate dinner for 10 or a gala for thousands, at Party Time Rentals, we find just the right style and elegance to make your event a success. Our extensive inventory of the finest in chandeliers, tents, crystal, china, and specialty items is featured in our fabulous showroom. Stop by and say hello. It's a great way to get ideas for an event and experience for yourself how you can make your party time special. Party Time Rentals, located on Southwest 10th Street, just off Route 200 in Ocala, and off Southwest 34th Street in Gainesville. For more information, call 352-629-8858. That's 352-629-8858. The party begins at party time. Getting a head start in learning to read is more important now than ever for our young children. The Reading Pals program of Marion County pairs up reading mentors with struggling kindergartners and helps them get up to speed in their most important years. But they need volunteers. If you'd like to be a Reading Pal, call Jan Hathaway at the United Way at 732-9696. That's 732-9696. Be a Reading Pal today. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, your company supplier of banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Where you give them approved artwork by noon, the next day by 4 p.m., you pick up your banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. That's 368-2404. Don't forget, they do vehicle wraps also. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. 
Hi, Robin. You look tired. I am. I've been running all over town. Why? Why not drive? I need to get this stupid document notarized. Oh, that's easy. You need personal service. Duh. That's what I've been looking for. You need to go see Mark at the Personal Service Center. He can notarize that for you, make copies, fax it wherever, or send it out in the mail. Heck, he can even scan it and email it for you. Really? Where is he at? 2375 Northeast 25th Avenue, on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street. You can call him at 789-6683. Personal Service Center. Thanks, Larry. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Drivers slow an average of 10% after passing a your speed sign, and they tend to stay slower for several miles. A lot of dieters started blogging in order to prove that they were committed to losing weight, and once they started writing about their weigh-ins, they attracted an audience, which made them feel accountable to others. And that connection, it helped them keep going. Sleeping will do more for your grade or your business presentation than pulling it all night. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. We're not just the horse capital of the world. Ocala Marion County is now the hoops capital, too, thanks to the 2013 National Champion CF Patriots basketball team. The McDonald Allstate Agency brings you the reigning kings of the court all season long right here on WOCA. Coach Tim Ryan and the Patriots look to defend their national crown and get set to host the state tournament this coming spring. The McDonald Allstate Agency brings you CF basketball only on WOCA, the source. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. So where you wanna go? Where you wanna go? Where you wanna go? Where you wanna go? Where you wanna go, baby? No We're back on the Voice of Ocala. I'm your host, Tom Schmitz, along with Josh LaSalle and Austin Tatman. We're gonna go out to the phone now. We've had a couple conversations on this show about the father of the Duck Command group, Phil Robertson, and his what some people have said were homophobic slurs or comments uh, and racial comments. Uh, some other people have said that they're comments that a 60, 70-year-old uh, man from the backwoods of Louisiana who believes in, the, in his, the, his interpretation of the Bible are going to say and that they're not homophobic. A&E has since suspended Phil for his comments uh, in a GQ magazine interview. And we're going to be joined now by a national, nationally known ethics es- expert. Uh, he's the authority on second chances. He's been a keynote speaker, and he's the author of a second chances, transforming adversity into opportunity. Chuck Gallagher to get his take on ethics and who's being ethical here. If anybody's violated ethics here, and if A and E maybe has not been ethical here. Chuck Gallagher, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Appreciate the opportunity. Uh, Chuck, let, let's get right into this. I said on my on this show a week ago when this first came out, I put I stated publicly that if you don't want to know what a 67-year-old Christian man from the backwoods of Louisiana thinks, don't ask him the question. Am I wrong there? No, I think you're absolutely right. And, you know, he was doing an article in GQ, and so if you're the interviewer, you're going to ask poignant questions like that. I mean, after all, Phil is supposed to be on reality TV, so let's be real and ask the tough questions. And Phil has, there's been, you know, there's been different videos of Phil where he's spoken at different men's groups, religious men's groups, where these comments have been made before. This isn't the first time Phil Robertson has stated his beliefs, is it? No, not at all. And, uh, you know, and if you're A&E, how can you think... Or, or even remotely walk in the world and not know that the guy who is the commander and, and, and who lives in the backwoods of Louisiana who professes to be a born-again fundamentalist Christian is not going to have those beliefs. You'd have to have your head in the sand someplace. Well, I would, I would say to that that A&E has made its money on the top-ranked cable television show knowing that's exactly who Phil Robertson is. Well, I agree with you. I mean, here it is. You've got a bunch of guys in beards who make duck calls. You're 
you're, you're actually exploiting uh, who they are and their beliefs in order to make the show popular. And then you come out and say, oh, my goodness, we're going to suspend you because you publicly declared your belief. Well, that's not a surprise. Well, let me let's get into what A&E did. A&E has suspended Phil Robertson, but did they really? Because the season four was already in the can, so he'll be on the show in season four. He suspended for season five, which starts filming in about seven months. But by that time, this will probably have blown over enough where A&E could let him back in. In reality, how much of this suspension will actually be shown on film, on TV? Well, in my personal opinion, I don't think much, if any. In fact... A&E might be smart like a fox, because in reality, they took an extreme position saying, we're going to indefinitely suspend Phil, and realize that in the process of doing that, over this holiday season, they have created more controversy and more free publicity, more discussions around the kitchen table at Christmas on the Christmas dinner than probably anybody could have ever imagined, and certainly they could never have afforded to pay for this level of publicity. Well, now, and that brings me to my question, because they already had, when this when this scandal hit, they had already had planned this these uh, uh, marathons to run of Duck Dynasty through the holiday season. I... Sometimes I challenge the ethics of a company to do that does this because I think they're not doing it for the because they agree with GLAD or they agree with the uh, gay, lesbian, and transgender community. They're doing it because it will get them this kind of publicity. Isn't that a violation of ethics in itself? Well, you know, one would assume the answer to be, to that is yes, and, and I think you've really got two ethical questions. One is, are you telling the truth? Are you playing fair, and is this real? Are you really suspending Phil because you stand by uh, the, the, the gay, lesbian, transgender community? Do you really stand by that community, or are you doing this just to realize you're going to create free publicity, the ratings will skyrocket, people will be watching the show more than ever, they'll go out and buy duck paraphernalia, and the reality is maybe none of it was the truth. It just was a grand illusion to drive ratings. Well, and see, that, that that's my thinking in this. And Now, what do you say about companies like Cracker Barrel, who on last Friday said, we're taking them all down, we're, we're not going with this, and then on Sunday, because they got inundated with their the, the, the groups of people who support Phil Robertson, which, by the way, are a large, I would think, a large uh, – uh, a group of people who also use Cracker Barrel as a place to eat. Cracker Barrel said, we've listened to our customers and we put it back up. Did Cracker Barrel use this instance to get their name out there, maybe? Well, you know, it's, it's either one of two things. It's either they are so smart that they realized we can jump on the Phil Robertson A&E uh, publicity bandwagon and get some free publicity ourselves. That would be option A. Or they're like a lot of companies out there today that are so, so scared of being uh, politically inaccurate that they jump to conclusions. And we see this all the time. You, you see it with Phil Robertson. You turn around, you see it with Paula Dean. I mean, it, it, we saw it with Steve Martin. For goodness sakes, he tweets a joke and gets backlash from it and apologizes for a joke. And he's a, a comedian, a by the way. He's a comedian. <laughs> You're supposed to be politically insensitive as a comedian. That's what makes it funny. Who apologizes for a joke? I, I, you know, I've se I saw in some trailers for The Grudge Match, the new movie with Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone, Kevin Hart and Alan Arkin trade some, some barbs in the trailers that if they weren't comedians, people would be all over it for political correctness. But because they're comedians, it's just part of the movie. Oh, absolutely. And, and, you know, that's one of the things that, that, that you, from an ethics perspective, you look at in this country and you say to yourself, okay, wait a minute. Now, if I'm left-leaning, if I'm liberal or, as they call it, progressive-leaning, I can pretty much say what I want to say and probably not a lot of backlash. But today in this country, if you are conservative-leaning 
and you express in a conservative belief, people are all over you saying, well, it's hateful and it's mean and we shouldn't be this way. And it's like, what happened to just poli- what happened to public discourse and freedom of speech? Well, I always say that, you know, p- the political correct people like everything you say until it disagrees with what they think. <laughs> that, that's pretty true. That, that, that is pretty true today. Well, we got a few more minutes with Chuck Gallagher, uh, nationally known ethics expert and author of Second Chances, Transforming Adversity into Opportunity. Now you see today and yesterday and today where the Reverend Jesse Jackson and his Rainbow Coalition and the Reverend Al Sharpton are demanding meetings with A&E and Cracker Barrel over Phil Robertson's comments. And they're upset about Phil Robertson's comments that he never saw any black people mistreated pre-civil rights era in Louisiana when he was growing up. And he said because they were all broke, they all lived the same. There was no mistreatment. We were all broke. We all got along. I never saw it. Well, I grew up in the east side of Jacksonville, Florida in the 60s and 70s and because we were all broke. My best friend was an African-American young man. I never saw anything that did take place. I know things in Birmingham took place. I've seen the mo- videos of them. I know people were were grossly uh, uh, just beaten down in, a, in, in racist ways. I know this to be fact, but I never actually saw it myself. And that's all Phil Robertson says. Where's the ethics of Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton trying to jump on this bandwagon? Well, it, it, it goes back to that original comment. If you're if you're left leaning and you speak in a left leaning way, it's okay. But boy, if you say, I mean, here you had a 67 year old white male in Louisiana. W- was there discrimination? Well, of course there was. But when you lived in the midst of it, you didn't see it as discrimination. So for him to say what he saw is just an expression of his time, his life and time. And to sit back and say, well, that's wrong, just is, watch it, jumping on the bandwagon to get the free publicity associated with it. That's all. I, I couldn't agree more. I just think that, I think if if people would, sometimes would, I think sometimes ethics, our ethics need to be questioned in why we attach something, why we make it a big deal. Sometimes you just let somebody say something and say, you know, that's just what he thinks. Nobody's listening to him. That's just what he thinks. And let it go. We'd have a lot less argumentative con- argumentative confrontation between groups of people. Just say, because I, I, have, I have an uncle. I give you a good point. I have an uncle in my family that we know every Christmas when we get together, he's going to say something that's going to aggravate somebody in our family. And we just write it off as he's a nut, and we just keep going, and it never bothers us. Maybe so, right. maybe our country should take some of that, that, that medicine and do it that way. Well, absolutely. And, you know, I have some gay friends who have been very clear to say, while I do not agree with Phil Robertson's belief, I support his ability to say it because if we don't support free speech – we won't have free speech. And everyone wants to at least believe their voice can be heard without attack. Chuck Gallagher, nationally known ethics expert, author of Second Chance Transforming Adversity and Opportunity. Chuck, if people want to find out more about you and more about how, where, you be, where your beliefs are and where you stand, how can they get in touch with you? Well, the easy way to do it is to go to chuckgallagher.com. Gallagher is G-A-L-L-A-G-H-E-R. And my contact information is there, and I'm happy to take emails and calls, and I appreciate the opportunity to be with you here today. Chuck, uh, anytime, uh, I'm, I'm, anytime I have a situation like this come up, I'm going to use you as a source from now on, sir. Is that okay with you? That's uh, absolutely fine. I appreciate it. Thanks, Chuck. Chuck Gallagher. We're going to take a break. When we come back, wait till you hear about what a girl, what a girl working the counter at CBS asked her manager if it was okay to do. <laughs> I'll tell you about that next on the Voice of Gala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The Source.
Dr. Seaborn Hunt, a board-certified ophthalmologist in Ocala, there's no referral needed for an appointment. Call 873-7200, offering medical services for glaucoma management, including laser surgery to help lower your eye pressure and potentially reduce your dependency on eye drops. He also evaluates and treats diabetic retinopathy, one of the leading causes of blindness with advanced imaging and laser procedure to help prevent vision loss. Dr. Hunt's office accepts most insurance and files claims for you. Call Dr. Hunt at 873-7200. That's 873-7200. We're not just the horse capital of the world. Ocala Marion County is now the hoops capital, too, thanks to the 2013 National Champion CF Patriots basketball team. The McDonald Allstate Agency brings you the reigning kings of the court all season long right here on WOCA. Coach Tim Ryan and the Patriots look to defend their national crown and get set to host the state tournament this coming spring. The McDonald Allstate Agency brings you CF basketball only on WOCA, the source. We got it together, didn't we? If you missed Dr. Buddy recently on The Voice of Ocala, you missed the saga of Bob. How Bob deals with his family and a new relationship. The issue is the mind of the children, how they think about it. They don't know what's going on, right? right? He still wants to pursue keeping his family together because that's the most important thing to him above For everything sure. else. Yeah. So he says, he's, I said, go back and talk to your ex-wife again and put it back on the table and just say, think about this and give me an answer. Then go to your children and make it known that you say, I don't want to live by myself. I've, I've tried to arrange, I'm seeing, see if your mother wants to get back together. If she does, I would like to move back together, right? So be sure to check out Dr. Buddy every Monday afternoon on The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com, The Source. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Home Store on Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give them a call and they'll come and pick it up. For more information, visit HabitatOcala.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community. Legally Yours, brought to you by Fuller & Fuller Attorneys at Law. On the air every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller, right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, IOAs, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Got a garden and we've got a show for you called you've got a garden with your host master gardener carol ann baldwin carol ann answers your questions about your flowers your veggies your grass your trees even questions about your bugs and she's only on woca so don't miss carol ann baldwin and you've got a garden each tuesday from 9 a.m to 10 a.m right here on woca the source woca Gonna be all right. You can never go wrong with Bob Marley. Glad Ever. You, I'm glad you approve of this. Uh, Ever go wrong with Bob Marley. This buffer music. Bob Marley and Frank Sinatra, You could, I could mm. play those all the time, 24 hours a day, those two, and be good. Good to know. Helpful hint there, Austin. You know where Pompano yeah. Beach is, Austin? Yeah, I do. Uh, Josh, you know where Pompano Beach is? I do not know where that is, actually. Pompano Beach, Florida. It's uh, down in South Florida, Broward County. Oh, okay. All right. It seems that sheriff detectives there are searching for a gunman with patience. Hmm. The CVS pharmacy on Sample Road in Pompano Beach was robbed December 7th. 
The man came in carrying a handgun. He demanded money from the young CBS clerk. She said, I don't know if I can do that or not. Let me ask my manager. <laughs> he walks in with a loaded gun, points it at the girl behind the counter, and she says, he says, give me your money. And the girl behind the counter says, wait a minute, let me check with my manager. She's following store protocol. So the manager is called to the front of the store. The gunman waits, by the way. <laughs> the manager is called to the store. Once again, the declaration of give me your money is made. The manager gives up over $300, and the gunman flees. I want to know what the gunman was thinking. Like, she says, wait a minute, please. Okay, I'll wait. Like, yeah. just standing there with a gun pointing at him at him. He's like, okay, I'll wait. No, no, the robber carried a handgun, flashed his gun, demanded money. She said she'd have to check with her manager first. The suspect waited for the manager as unaware customers continued to shop all around him. Oh, my them. goodness. When the manager came to the front counter, the suspect flashed his gun again and then got away with over $300 in cash from the store's register. I feel like something other than just telling the manager to walk to the front of the store could have been done to prevent that <laughs> yeah, in that situation. Hey, can you Rather call 911, say, please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you hold a manager 911, please? Manager 911, please? Yeah. You know, something. Or go attack him from behind and knock the, I don't know. Something the other than The video showed the robber had a light complexion with a stocky build. He was wearing a dark colored hooded sweatshirt, baggy shorts, and white trim, a dark ball cap. He also wore black and white running shoes with white socks. Safe to say that would never happen at WOCS Studios. It would never happen. I doubt that would happen to CBS here. they just give up the money. <laughs> let me check. Let me check with Tom Schmitz and Buddy if I can let you Investigators do this. are asking anybody with information to call Crime Stoppers in Broward County at BrowardCrimestoppers.org to go to that website. So, Only you know, in Florida. He just walked in and said, give me all your money. Hold on. I need to check with my manager first. <laughs> Manager says, yeah, it's okay to give him the money. Let him, he's got a gun. It's okay. <laughs> Coming up, Mauer 2, speaking of armed robbery, we got the sheriff and the chief of police. It's Ask the Cops, brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, lawyer fighting for accident victims justice since 1976. We're going to play a recent version of Ask the Cops on Community Gazette Day. We're usually at Gateway Bank because Community Gazette Day is brought to you by Gateway Bank. Today we're in studio. We'll be back at Gateway Bank next week for our first Community Gazette Day of the New Year. You're listening to The Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96 point, 96.3 FM. Wow. The Source. And when you're out there without care, yeah, I was out of touch. But it wasn't because I didn't know enough. Hey, it's Tom James. I agreed to join Buddy and the gang every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 o'clock to talk sports on The Voice of Ocala. We call it Around the Water Cooler. One hour to solve all the problems in the world of sports. Little did I know just how opposite our opinions would be. How can a group of guys see the same thing so differently? Some days I wonder if it's just water in that water cooler. Join Buddy, Schmitty, JJ, Austin, and me, Tom James, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5. It's Around the Water Cooler on WOCA, The Source. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. I want to tell you about a conversation I had recently with General Manager Pat Murray on the great family atmosphere at Country Club of Ocala. It's a family first club. Um, again, we you know we 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 have any number of different types of memberships, but obviously the the, the one that attracts the greatest level of interest is our family. And the reason for that is we have a little bit of something for everybody. I mean, we have we obviously have a world class golf course. Um, we have uh, seven tennis courts here for all levels of uh, tennis players. We have a junior Olympic size swimming pool. We have the uh, we have a fitness center that's that's second to none. And we have uh, state of the art equipment in our fitness center. Country Club of Ocala, where the facilities are all a family would ever need. For more information, call today at 352-237-6644. That's 352-237-6644. Country Club of Ocala, proud sponsor of Monday's Gator Report and Gator Talk Thursday right here on The Source. 
Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road or North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. Howdy, RL here to tell you about a great deal at Dairy Queen. For only $4.49, you can warm up to a hot, juicy combo of either a foot-long, quarter-pound all-beef chili dog or a tasty, home-style cheeseburger. Smoking hot off the char grill. Both get fries and a drink. You can add a Sunday for only 99 cents. Now that's a doggone good deal at Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where they always treat you like kings and queens. This is a public notice. Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale. Because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to sticker shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercutting less proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Hi, I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. News Talk 1370. WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370. WOCA. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, the source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA, the source. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. Debit card PIN numbers, they're strongly encrypted, though, so the accounts almost certainly can't be used. UPS delivering a comeback to people who are still angry that they haven't gotten some packages that were supposed to get there by Christmas. The company says, read the fine print. The guarantee does not apply to packages that were shipped after December 10th. If Florida is a sunshine state, why are there so many tanning salons there? Skin cancer researchers at the University of Miami want to know. They say they outnumber McDonald's, and that isn't a good thing as far as they're concerned. They say indoor tanning is not safe, and it can cause skin cancer. Dieting is a popular New Year's resolution, and we're already starting to see ads for weight loss programs. Survey of 500 registered dietitians finds the trend away from bread should continue into the new year, but some grains are making a comeback, like quinoa and spelt. This is ABC News. Okay, gigantic wireless company, we need to talk. Now that my contract is up, I'm breaking up with you. I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. Okay, it's you a little bit. The two-year contract, the huge monthly bills... 
You had to see this coming. Yes, I'm switching to Net10 Wireless, and I'm taking everything with me. My phone, my number, even my 4G LTE network. I'm taking it all. Well, you can keep the hidden fees and penalties. You see, with Net10 Wireless's Bring Your Own Phone plan, I can keep my phone, my number, and still cut my monthly phone bill in half. Now, don't be upset. We'll stay in touch. I just needed some space. And some extra money every month. Introducing the Bring Your Own Phone Plan from Net10 Wireless. Keep your phone, your number, and still cut your monthly bill in half. Unlimited data, text, and talk, including 2.5 gigabytes of high-speed data each month on America's largest and best networks, including 4G LTE, just $50 a month. Available at stores nationwide, including Radio Shack. Month equals 30 days. Certain restrictions apply. Please refer to the latest terms and conditions of service at Net10 Wireless. I'm just sick of all the amateur stuff, you know? I mean, like... <laughs> If I'm paying top dollar, I want a little production value, you know, like some editing, transition, something, some music. Don't worry, we didn't leave you. He's gone. He's not gone. That's the whole point. He's never gone. Our bosses say we got to stay. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei. It's time for the second hour of The Voice of Ocala. hoo You ever come across anything like time travel? Come on, stick around. It's free. If you win, you win. If you lose, you still win. All right, welcome to our two of the program. On the Voice of Ocala, it's time for our Ask the Cops program. Our, it's one of our most popular shows we've got all week long. We're happy to welcome back. We've got the whole team in the house now. Glad to have Sheriff Chris Blair and Chief of Police Greg Graham all in the same place. Gentlemen, how are you? Good to see you both. Doing Doing great. Doing great. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Same to you. It's it's a great time and yet a stressful time and also a time to be on the lookout. So today maybe you guys can help us brief us a little bit about some of that lookout stuff and sure. and uh, we'll talk about that. I understand we'll get into this in a minute. Maybe some good news that the chief of police may have for us about a, a certain apprehension. Let's talk about it in a few minutes. Uh, and then just overall uh, discussion about the community, the good things that go on. I know I saw an example of that just last week. Interface the uh, the food drive downtown uh, the uh, that I know Chris was a part of in the um, uh, the um, bring home bring the harvest home drive where they've got eight tons of food downtown with the county commission and the sheriff's office so that's a good thing and I've always said this and Greg I know you know this is the case too is Ocala is really good about about reaching out and helping people and things like that special needs and I, I like to think we have a really great heart as our community uh, absolutely I, you know. I, I moved to the Midwest for a little uh, for a little while, and you know that Midwest uh, ethic of you know caring about each other, genuinely caring about each other. Each other. Really, uh, Ocala has that Midwest feel because you know there's rare, rarely is there a time when there's a need in the community or a need at the department. And I know the sheriff and, uh, will agree with this. Well, we can pick the phone up and we can call people in the community. And go, hey, we need help with this, uh, either with raising money or with. Um, you know, with crime uh, information, and you know the community comes forward and and uh, does the right thing for the betterment of everybody. And you know, the food drive was a, a great example. You know, uh, we participated with it too. The city of Ocala did, and and it, it's just amazing how big this community's heart really is. It, it's a good point. We're a small town, but we're big enough. I love the small town feel of connecting. We have some bad people in our community, but we have some great people in our community. That's too. true. And you all are able to. You actually, in fact. Uh, do um, uh, apprehend a lot of the bad people, which we're thankful for. And I should mention, by the way, this program is sponsored by Daniel L. Hightower, lawyer, fighting for accident and victim justice since 1976, and we're glad that he's the sponsor. So let's talk today, first of all, about the good parts. Let's talk about the things to look out for. And maybe if you have any news to update us on what's happening in your departments or the community, we'd like to know. I know we have some interesting news about certain apprehensions. We mentioned the food drive. Anything else going on during the holidays that the sheriff's department or the police department are involved in, and, and, and what are they? Well, you know, usually this time of the year it's the same every time of the year with uh, everybody out shopping and they're out late and they're out early. Uh, we, uh, we end up with uh, an increase in some property crimes, uh, retail thefts, um, and we do have some violent crime that occurs. But, you know, it's, it's fairly easy to, to stop and, you know, when you when you go to the store and you're going shopping, make sure that you put stuff in your trunk. You don't have anything out in the open. Make sure you lock your doors. I can't tell you how many times we'll respond to a burglary of a car and ask ask them, 
you know, did you leave your car unlocked? Well, yeah, I did. And they leave their purse out or they, you know, leave something valuable uh, laying around. Uh, I can tell you the other day we got into a chase, and this was a, another community thing. We got into a chase with a car that had three people in it, and when we finally got them stopped, they had over $5,000 worth of stolen uh, property in their car that they had been uh, going to the stores and uh, doing thefts. Well, when we finally caught them, we got a description of the car because of a citizen who reported that they saw them steal something out of a out of a uh, out of a store. So it's not just the the people, the loss prevention people that are employed by these department stores that need to 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 catch them. It's other citizens, that, other shoppers that if they see somebody doing something they shouldn't be doing, they need to let somebody know because it, it was amazing. These uh, these three girls that were doing this. Um, they, they weren't doing it very long, and the car was stuffed full of uh, stolen property. And uh, that's stuff that you and I pay for as consumers because the prices go up because of, uh, of sure. theft. So, so, you know, it's just being aware of your surrounding, not becoming a victim, keeping your stuff locked, keep it uh, uh, you know, out of sight, and just be uh, cognizant of what's going on around you. We saw something yesterday right in front of our eyes out at the, uh, <clears throat> the mall. And it's funny how these scenes appear, Sheriff, to you. And you see them, and you're not sure what they are when you see them. And Tom Spence and I were watching this take place right in front of our window there. And there was a, an African-American woman coming out of the mall and a, and, a, and, a, and a white guy who was pushing her and shoving her and pushing her and whatever. And she was trying to leave, and he was pushing her back and pushing her in the head and the face. And, and off the, right off the top, you think, this is an abusive situation here. Right. There's something going on here, and your tendency is to want to say, go and say, hey, guy, hey, back off, pal, you know. And that's what you're seeing, because he's obviously the aggressor. He's obviously physically stronger. Yeah. So he watched it unfold. Well, it turned out she had an item. She had taken it from the store. And as I remember, that uh, as, as, as she was leaving, somebody tripped her, and she fell in the bushes. And as one of the guy walked up to accost the gentleman, he pulled out a badge and said, hey, I'm security, you know. And so it's funny how what you think you're seeing and what you're really seeing. Isn't right, it may be totally different. Yeah. So, uh, so you've got to be very careful when you want to interact. It may yeah. be that uh, it's not what it appears to be. So, yeah. uh, you know, back uh, to the food drive, yeah. I just want to let you know uh, some information. You know, that, that food's going to Salvation Army, Interfaith, and uh, Brothers Keepers. So uh, next week I talked to the major that oversaw the project at the sheriff's office and uh that food will be divided among those three next week. So we still got food coming in from throughout the community. Yeah, and they and, and they, they all do a great job. And, I, and, and Brothers Keeper Salvation Army, as well as we mentioned, Interfaith a lot. Yes. But these other people do a great job, too. Well, and one other thing I wanted to get the sheriff to say is uh, to tell everybody uh, how well we did in our cancer fundraising. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. Well, how did that come out? Well, it came out great. You know, uh, last week we got a surprising phone call uh, from the American Cancer Society. Uh, the Marion County Sheriff's Law, or the law enforcement team, uh, here, which included Bellevue Police Department, Ocala Police Department, Dunnellan, and the Sheriff's Office, came out number one in the state. Really? We, uh, well, that is fantastic. Number one, and I think, you know, uh, we're waiting for results from nationally, but uh, I think I've heard around 11 or 12th, and, you know, we're up against uh, big corporations like Walmart, so it looks like we did extremely well. In a community that suffered a lot, like others, we've had our down period, you know, times were tough here, around here, and yet able to pull together this money we number one in the state. That makes everybody proud. Oh, and you absolutely. guys must be thrilled by this. Uh, the people that came through for you, yep. all the great work that you did. You had the ball. What were the events that you had? You had the, the pink tennis ball. Pink ball. And I know Greg, you did something silly. What were you doing? Getting uh, dunked or something? We, or we've been dunked. We got. <laughs> we did. It, it, we had a whole gamut of stuff. We did uh, a garage sale. We did. We did car washes. Car washes. Mm-hmm. We did Zumba events. We. I mean, we did a lot of stuff, and uh, you know, and and a lot of the credit goes to the staffs of all the the, the departments that did did the uh, you know the, the yeoman's work of, of, of the fundraising, and then the community coming together and attending the ball and giving uh, uh, giving so generously to the cause. So it yeah, it I was I was shocked when I found out that we had finished number one because I would have never thought. Well, that we, we you did know we, well. we you did. know originally we were looking at a certain amount that we were going to try to mm-hmm. get, and then uh, you know it just came together so well. Mm-hmm. I think the four agencies came together and uh we just did a great it was a great opportunity for us to kind of some people didn't know each other with the inner agency so now they do a lot of good friends were made and but i think what's important is is that that money's the money itself stays here in marion mm-hmm. county so great. it's going to serve the people here and it's great for on two fronts especially 
Number one, that when you get the combination of good leadership, committed people, like the two of you and your staff members, uh, committed to something, and you have good people working with you, and a community that has a big heart, <clears throat> you work, good things happen, which makes you wonder, what would be possible if we all work together like that all the time? Uh, Amazing what we could do in our community, right? No doubt. Un- unstoppable. Yeah. So unstoppable. I think we should remember that. Absolutely. That's the potential that our community has if we ever get in the same hymn, same page on the hymn. No, we'll be, all, we'll be great, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Speaking of that, there's some great news, which uh, I know people will feel better about once we get, uh, get back, take a break, and uh, we'll talk about that. <clears throat> and I'm sure the sheriff has a few things he wants to talk about in terms of late things he's been involved in lately. But I want to hear this story. A couple of crimes lately that really were – it has ticked a lot of people off, and we want to say we hope we catch that so and so. Well, guess what? We got some good news, and uh, and the sheriff and the chief or the chief of police, especially, going to share that with us right here on Ask the Cops, presented by Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer fighting for accident and victim justice since 1976. This is the Voice of Ocala. We're live from the Gateway Bank on Community Gazette Friday. Stay tuned to 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. W-O-C-A, the source. Dr. Seaborn Hunt, a board-certified ophthalmologist, is your comprehensive medical laser and surgical eye care specialist for Marion Lake and Sumter Counties. He offers services for cataract surgery, diabetes, glaucoma, macular degeneration, dry eyes, as well as a routine comprehensive eye exam. Call 873-7200 for an appointment today. No referral needed. Dr. Hunt accepts Medicare as well as most insurance plans and files the claims for you. Dr. Hunt has performed thousands of successful procedures. Call Dr. Hunt at 873-7200. That's 873-7200. Since 1976, Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer, has been fighting for accident victim justice in North Central Florida and statewide. He believes everyone in America should follow the rules, including the insurance companies. He and his firm have experience fighting for victims of personal injury, wrongful death, workers' compensation, and Social Security disability, as well as serving those in need of help with bankruptcy, simple wills, and estate plans. The mission at the law offices of Daniel L. Hightower, PA, is to represent deserving clients and recover the maximum benefits they are entitled to by law in a timely manner. In personal injury and workers' compensation cases, there are no fees or costs unless a recovery is made. The law office of Daniel L. Hightower is located at 7 East Silver Springs Boulevard, Suite 300. For your free consultation, call 352-629-7777 or 1-888-LAW-1976 and visit danhightower.com for more information. Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice, and the proud sponsor of Ask the Cops. Recently, I had a great conversation with General Manager Pat Murray on the special events at Country Club of Ocala. We have a lot of uh, events, special events here that are that are geared towards the family. Um, Easter comes to mind. We have uh, an Easter bunny who hops around on the driving range. At, we usually hide somewhere in a neighborhood of 3,000 eggs and, 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 and turn them loose and let them go harvest the eggs. We have a great family celebration here on the 4th of July where it's, it's a traditional cookout, if you will. And as the, as the sun goes down, the driving range becomes alive with uh, probably one of the better fireworks displays in the, in the area. Uh, breakfast with Santa is a, big, is a big deal. Country Club of Ocala, where the Easter Bunny, Santa, and all the children, large and small, are a big deal on every special occasion. For more information, call 352-237-6644. That's 352-237-6644. Country Club of Ocala, proud sponsor of the Monday Gator Report, right here on The Source. W-O-C-A. Hi, Robin. You look tired. I am. I've been running all over town. Why? Why not drive? I need to get this stupid document notarized. Well, that's easy. You need personal service. Duh. That's what I've been looking for. You need to go see Mark at the Personal Service Center. He can notarize that for you, make copies, fax it wherever, or send it out in the mail. Heck, he can even scan it and email it for you. Really? Where is he at? 2375 Northeast 25th Avenue, on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street. You can call him at 789-6683. Personal Service Center. Thanks, Larry. It's time again for Ocala's Christmas Parade. Be sure to tune in on Saturday, December 14th at 5 p.m. to experience all of the fun and excitement as WOCA The Source broadcasts live from the parade route. This heartwarming special broadcast is being brought to you in part by Urban Cardiology, Drs. Paul Urban and Prem Singh. Don't miss this fun broadcast and from the WOCA family to yours, Merry Christmas and best wishes for the new year. December 21st, join us for the WOCA Jingle Ball, 
an evening at the Appleton Museum. From 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., come enjoy the beautiful collection of colorful trees, nutcrackers, and countless decorations throughout the Appleton Museum. Musicians from the Ocala Symphony Orchestra will be performing throughout the first floor exhibits while you are enjoying holiday entertainment and culinary delights. Your donation will help provide Marion County children the opportunity to experience the magic of Christmas on Christmas Day through Ocala's Operation Feed 100 program. A limited amount of tickets will be available, so for more information and to purchase your tickets, go to WOCA.com and click on the Jingle Ball link. Back to the Voice of Ocala, Ask the Cops, presented by Daniel L. Hightower, lawyer, fighting for action and victim justice since 1976. Chief of Police Greg Graham, Sheriff Chris Blair, it's a holiday. Understand that uh, the chief is going to use, use a firearm here to start the race, huh? Well, it's, got, it's a blank. Well, by the way, man, now. But it's, you but it's loud, I can tell you that. <laughs> I heard, got that report. So yeah. It's very loud, so don't get to... Which, which, which gun are you firing? Uh, it's a, uh, just a revolver that we, it's, it's loud. It's loud. Let me okay. just put it away. It'll be, uh, get an old musket it, or something. It'll be, yeah. Fire that baby over. Yeah. <laughs> we used to call it a cap myself. gun is what we used to call cap it. Cap gun? <laughs> yeah, this isn't a cap gun. It's a, it's a real firearm with yeah. it, but it's a blank round. So, uh, but it'll be fun. What time does that start? Uh, 4.30-ish, 4.30, 4, somewhere around. Is it 4.30 yeah. is when the reindeer run starts? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, we used to, uh, there used to be a shotgun start at a golf tournament out at, uh, at uh, Golden Ocala mm-hmm. uh, where Bernadette, when Bernadette Castro uh, owned it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, she took shotgun start literally and, and uh, wanted to actually fire a shotgun. We used to take this gun out there and let her shoot it. And, mm-hmm. oh, my God, it was so loud. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, it'll be fun tomorrow. To All I know that. is that Tom Tom Ingram, the CEO, was saying that he wanted to know if you spend any time on the range before you pull that trigger. No, I, I, they usually don't let me get near a <laughs> firearms range, and shoot myself yeah. in the foot or something. It's going to be a big event. It's nice. It's going to be really good. So. Yeah, you know, and this is the first year the reindeer run is going to start, start here. at Gateway, mm-hmm. uh, which is going to be nice, and actually it's going to be easier for us uh, with the run starting and ending here. And uh, I think more people will be able to see. It'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Exactly. Meanwhile, on the beat. Uh, let's get to let's get to the good news first. I can't wait to tell you. Got some report about uh, on this couple of really bad crimes that you think you have a suspect for. Yeah, the uh, you know on the first on, on December the first we had a robbery up at the uh, barber shop on North Magnolia where uh, a couple guys go in, rob the place, order the victims uh, to lay on the ground, and then shot them. Uh, we were able to take one of them in custody this afternoon. Uh, we've got him at the police department now, interviewing. Uh, hopefully we'll get a confession. If we don't, uh, we don't. But uh, at least we've got one in custody, and hopefully we'll be able to get the other one. In Here's what got me about it. According to the article, I don't know what happened. You do, but they, they robbed the place, left, and the guy said, aren't you going to do it? Came back in and then shot the people. And the guy who owned the barbershop, it's an all-night barbershop, which stays open yeah. for people at the work. He got shot in the shoulder, came to work the next day. Yeah, it, uh, you know, I've never met the guy. You know, I, I read the story yeah. in the in the paper too as it relates to him coming back to work. And you know, he, the guy's very brave. Um, you know, it's it, it's usually a fairly uh, safe uh, area up there on North Magnolia, and we've had two incidents in short in a short time frame up there that uh, you know caused uh, caused us some concern. But uh, we've been able to successfully close this robbery case now. And the other one was the uh, the the lady that was uh, the, uh, the home invasion where she was robbed and an attempted rape. Uh, we were able to take that guy into custody the very next day, who had just gotten out of prison, hadn't been uh, out of prison very long. He'd been in there 20 years, and uh, he's going to go back now, and he'll never get out. Uh, I hope not. He looks like he belongs there behind the rest of his yeah, life, just looking at his it, picture. And it was senseless and stupid, and, and the guy was, you know, he's, he, he's where he belongs. Yeah, exactly. He needs to be. Speaking of that, just to update you on the news that Tom gives me, this Arapaho uh, school shooting out in Colorado, the, the police there confirmed that he was the shooter was deceased, said it was self-inflicted gunshot. So let's hope that's uh, that was the only person that died that day out there. So 
uh, and we'll talk another time about that. We had this discussion about Newtown. You know, remember, Greg, when it yeah. happened a year ago, we talked about how could things happening here. Uh, let's get to another good example of agencies working together. Turns out, Greg, uh, you, you wound up arresting this, uh, this woman for child neglect, for leaving her baby in the car while she went to the liquor store. But an off-duty deputy observed it for 16 minutes, Chris, and then phoned the, sheriff, the police department, and you're able to make this apprehension. Absolutely. Yeah, and, you know, what's so great about that is, is you know, you know you, and you say this stuff about, you know, I certainly say it about my officers and my employees, and, and I know the sheriff does the same thing, but, you know, it, it, it's like I've always said, there's no on and off switch on being a law enforcement officer, and, and these men and women are out there, even when they're not working and not being paid, they're still doing their jobs, and they're still, still paying attention, and what a great... Uh, I mean, this guy sat there and uh, actually collected evidence for us, basically by timing how long she was in there, because if not for that, we wouldn't have been able to make a case, um, because, you know, we'd, we'd show up and the kid would be there, but, I mean, it would be not as good of a case, I guess. As it was a cold was. night, and the kid had no baby, had four-month-old baby had no yeah. no pants on, and he was able to observe how long she was in there. and Yeah, and, you know, this... this this girl will get mom of the year, I'm sure. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't. I, it just <laughs> makes you wonder. Well, you, you know, know I, I wonder some say. if there's women out there. Excuse me, interruption. If there are people out there who really don't know that you can't leave your children alone in a car while you go do whatever you're doing. You know, right. hard to believe people it, are that stupid. It, it is, but I mean, what do you? I mean, do you see it a lot? Oh yeah, it happens. Yeah. Absolutely. You'd be surprised at the stuff we see uh, we and you know, the things that it. kids have to go through and the neglect and the abuse that they, they have here that, you know, it's just, it, it breaks your heart. Absolutely. Um, I've got a question. Well, first of all, do you, have you had any news report on that? Yeah, yeah, let me uh, just cover something here. Yeah. You know, i got a couple things. Yeah, but, go for uh, it. First of all, you know, we, we made four arrests on a robbery that occurred uh, in around December uh, 11th off of Northeast 13th Street, and uh, primarily uh, the victim uh, had the suspects held the guns to the uh, victim's heads and stole uh, cash and a paintball gun. So, uh, believe it or not, uh, suspects actually bring two babies to the robbery. So, um, unbeknownst to us, within 24 hours while we're investigating the case, and I actually heard this on the radio as it was going down, and they had the suspects of the residents deep north in the county up near Reddick area, and they were trying to plan on how they were going to approach the residents. But uh, we later, when they did the traffic stop here, we found two young children, uh, I believe one's two months old and the other one's three years old, in the vehicle, uh, weapons in the vehicle with a bag of ammunition. So uh, they were taken into custody. We, got, uh, we arrested three that day, and we just recently picked up the fourth, and we got one more still out there that we're trying to locate. So... Good job on behalf of uh, everybody involved in that investigation. But uh, here you go, perfect examples of someone going out committing crime, and here we got two innocent kids with them. <laughs> Disgusting. So then uh, the other thing we had, our fugitive team uh, was able to um, actually apprehend a, an individual on South Pine Avenue um, at a restaurant. He was having lunch. He was wanted for attempted murder out of... Uh, Belusia County, and uh, so he was taken into custody. I guess the question was, I, I'm not sure if the, his lunch got paid for. But, <laughs> so i got to check on that. He's going to have uh, some free lunches but, here soon. Well, now, now he's getting served free. So. Yeah. But uh, he was taken into custody, and he'll be shipped back to uh, Belusia County. I guess we get, probably get those so-called vagrant uh, criminals who come through here, drop through here, because we're kind of in the middle of the state. And How do you usually just get those people? Is it because people recognize them by something? Or how do you usually get your tips from people who are committed crimes in other areas who happen to be located here. Well, I'll tell you that story I told you earlier about the three girls that were up here uh, stealing. They were from St. Pete. And, uh, you know, I, look, I, I actually showed up at the call and looked down and said, why are you in Ocala? And they're like, well, you know, it's just kind of on the right. I said, well, don't come back to Ocala. And tell all your friends don't come to Ocala if you're going to come here and steal stuff from us. They had actually gone to Gainesville and stole a bunch of stuff, too. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, Good descriptions of people, tag numbers, you know, they'll get people's ID sometimes, but, uh, yeah. Well, you uh, you certainly, um, I'm glad that you're putting the word out that we, that, that we don't want you here. And if, and if you come here, then you're going to pay a price for it. Then. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to come to Marion County or uh, Ocala and uh, commit a crime, bring bond money. <laughs> you know, and I think, uh, you know, the good thing is the partnership that we have between all the agencies, you yeah. know, here in Marion County is just, uh, is 
fantastic, and uh, we work well with each other. And whatever we need, you know, we make sure that we see that we get it. So, uh, and I think we're trying to send a strong message. You know, uh, we want you to be here, be happy, but uh, don't commit crime here in the city or Marion County. Right. Good message. I'm going to ask you about an incident, uh, Chris, because it involves uh, one of you deputies. We read about it in the paper, uh, which uh, uh, was a uh, I, regardless of the guy's character, he was in. I guess he was in the jail, and there was an incident involving him, or he reportedly he either spit or cleared his throat, depending on who you believe. And he was handled with a physical force by the deputy, and as a result, the deputy has been suspended. And I guess is he charged? I don't know yet. Yes, he got charged, he charged. with uh, one count of simple battery, and uh, he, he was arrested, and uh, he's out on bond at this point. So uh, I can't get into the particulars right. of the case because uh, it's still a pending case. But uh, right now at this point, he's he's entitled to due process, and, and we will wait to see what actually takes place through the court system. I guess the question, generally speaking, for both departments would be that obviously you have to be aware of your own People, you you got good people, but mistakes are made, and sometimes people go over the line. <clears throat> What's the process like? What is it? How does it work? And uh, and who who would like who? How did this man get arrested? This deputy? And I ask you the same thing, uh, Greg, in terms of your you know monitoring your own people and and watching to make sure things are done pro- properly. How does that work? You know, this? I think the big thing is well, what we do, we we look at first of all, you know, um, the complaint's going to come in either either we one of our officer witness complaint. You know, that's what happened with the other. Uh, individuals that were recently arrested you know it was actually witnessed and it was told to a supervisor on this particular case um uh, uh, well they saw they had witnesses that saw what mm-hmm. actually took place mm-hmm. so it was being investigated and then your own there, people reported it yes and we okay. we were looking at it and and at that time the state attorney's office also got involved and then it had to, a decision has to be made you know first of all does it get handled in-house um or is a criminal. So at this point, you know, the state attorney's office made that decision. They made that call. So at this point, that's where, um, you know, he's entitled to due process, right. and we'll see exactly what takes place at this right. point. But uh, So I can't elaborate a whole lot on that right. case. But the actual way that we get involved in internal investigations is, is that normally a complaint could be filed from a citizen on an officer, and then we will open an investigation, take a look at it, and, and then we'll have uh, the findings uh Right. And I believe, did you have a discipline case recently of some kind, Greg? Because I remember reading about it. And there, we, I mean, we've always got investigations going yeah. on where you get complaints. Um, you know, I was an internal affairs investigator at one point in my career, and I used to tell the chief that, you know, as the internal affairs investigator, it was my job to protect the citizens against bad cops, protect the cops against bad citizens who file false complaints, and to protect the chief from both. Um, That's good. You know, so anytime you know you get a complaint, you investigate it, um, good, bad, or indifferent, and you gather the facts, and the facts speak for themselves. And so you know you're constantly dealing with people complaining, uh, not constantly, but you know anytime you get one, you you investigate it. The officers understand and know that uh, you know if there's a complaint on them, that they're going to be asked the questions about what happened. It's it's when you ignore the complaints or you know, it takes you a long time to to get to resolve them. Is where you start losing trust in the community because you're not you're not policing yourself. So you know, uh, but yeah, you know, we've got big organizations and uh, people make mistakes. And you know, the thing is, is uh, you know, get the facts out there and hold people accountable and move on. You know, and learn from whatever it was. And I think it, the transparency is important for the community too. Absolutely, well, and I think so. You know, and I and I made the decision to uh, immediately release that tape. I don't know if you saw the tape. But, I did uh, not know. But uh, you know, it was released. I, I think that it, it needed to go out, and, and people can decide. Yeah, uh, yeah. I saw the photograph and the tape. And, uh, all right, so we're going to take a break. Come back. Let's talk about some holiday things. We talked a little about the about the, you know the, the the blocking the cars. There's all kinds of scams that go on. You know, there are various scams, whether in the mail, whether the phone. People come up to your house and act like on for charity. And I, I don't know how much worse it gets in the holidays. It seems like it gets worse in the holidays. And I just want to get an idea, generally speaking, from both of you about how what should be a, be a, be aware of, alert of, and how should we respond. If we see something that's going on, it doesn't seem right, okay? Yep, sounds good. We'll great. take a break right here on Ask the Cops with Sheriff Chris Blair, Chief of Police Greg Graham on Ask the Cops, presented by Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer fighting for action and victim justice since 1976. Right here on the Voice of Ocala, 
1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Dry, itchy, scaly skin? Do you have psoriasis? Consider joining our research study. Rinstar Medical Research in Ocala is conducting a research study evaluating the effectiveness of investigational combination of two study medications for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. You may qualify if you're between the ages of 18 and 75 and have been diagnosed with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis for at least six months. For more information, please call Renstar in Ocala at 352-629-5800. Qualified participants may receive study-related medical care and study medication. Compensation for time and travel may also be provided. To find out more information about this psoriasis study, please call Renstar Medical Research at 352-629-5800. That's 352-629-5800. Renstar Medical Research, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. This holiday service announcement brought to you by Ocala Aviation and your friends here at this station. Let me ask you a question. Are you a bad Santa? Do people cringe before they open your presents? Has re-gifting your gifts become a holiday tradition? Well, you're not alone. According to the internet, someone somewhere did a survey and it turns out six out of ten gift givers are labeled as bad Santas. If you or someone you love has been diagnosed as a bad Santa, don't despair. There is a cure. It's not a pill or an elixir. We couldn't bottle it even if we tried. So what is this miracle cure for bad Santas every Everywhere, you'll never guess. So I might as well tell you, it's a discovery flight from Ocala Aviation. Yes, I speak the truth. Once they take to the skies, I guarantee they won't be trying to re-gift this present. A discovery flight will have people singing your praises as the best Santa ever. Never again will you have to attach a gift receipt to your present. For more details about this amazing discovery flight, call Ocala Aviation now. We have operators standing by. 861-7484. 861-7484. And Merry Christmas. Experience Christmas at Gaylord Palms, November 23rd through January 5th with Ice featuring Frosty the Snowman. Join Frosty, everyone's favorite snowman, in a colorfully frozen retelling of this original Christmas classic. Relive your favorite scenes, hand-carved in more than 2 million pounds of ice sculptures and slides, plus the all-new Artisans in Action Live Ice Carving Zone and the awe-inspiring Nativity in Ice. For tickets and packages, visit Christmas at GaylordPalms.com. With Disney Annual Passes, your family can experience magical holidays and excitement at all four Disney parks over and over again. And while lots of Florida residents are enjoying the magic year-round using the monthly payment program, you can win your passes from WOCA The Source. Enter now for your chance to win at WOCA.com and tune in every day for your cue to call in and enter to win four annual passes to Walt Disney World. Daily prizes include $50 Disney gift card. So log on, tune in, and win from WOCA The Source. Wrap it, seal it, tape it, wrap it, wrap it, seal it, tape it, wrap it. Need help getting something awkward, large, or fragile, expertly packed or custom crated and shipped somewhere else? Call on the professionals at PacMail. The experts at PacMail can ship anything anywhere and will find the perfect solution to even the most difficult shipping problems. From that big screen TV to the antique china cabinet, no item is too large or too delicate for the professionals at PacMail. Call on PacMail located in Churchill Square Shopping Center, Ocala, or at telephone 368 9779 to handle all of your packing and shipping needs. We ship anything, anywhere. Hi, welcome back to Ask the Cops with uh, Chief Greg Graham and Sheriff Chris Blair, presented by Daniel L. Hightower, attorney, fighting for accident and victim justice since 1976. Holiday crimes and scams. 
I, um, <clears throat> there's definitely a, an uptick in this kind of stuff late in the year. In addition to things like shoplifting, which I guess doesn't shoplifting go up at this time of year too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it does. Yeah, you know, and then um, and then and then everybody seems like this, they take advantage of people who are in a giving mood and want to find some way to get their money. Obviously, sure. Uh, other than robbery, which is another one, is there one or two things that in particular that either or both of you can think of at the holiday time to be more aware of, more alert for, or just everything times ten? Well, I think it's everything times ten. You know, it's, it, anything can take place. You know, and uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is is that when you're coming out of businesses shopping at night you know we always recommend that you, you travel with someone um especially for the ladies that if they're out there by themselves you know ask management to, to walk them out or something just make sure that you don't go out by yourself mm-hmm. because they're watching i mean mm-hmm. there's people out there that will watch uh, and predators right there in the parking yeah, lot and, and you know either they're going to grab your purse or they're going to grab uh, your gifts so uh you just need to be very cautious and i highly recommend that you, you shop with someone i think it's just so important any, without giving away trade secrets, any undercover folks out there walking around? <laughs> <clears throat> well, if I say that we have them out there, then they're giving away a trade <laughs> secret. Boy, you should have said we've got one at every store. Yeah, we, did, <laughs> we, yeah, we, do, uh, we do an operation just like the sheriff's office does yeah. where we've got extra people out and plain clothes and plain cars uh, from Thanksgiving, from right before Thanksgiving until right at Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've got you know, a ton of extra people out to, to respond to calls or to, you know, observe and try to catch them. Mm-hmm. We've caught some people. I know the sheriff's office has, too. So, yeah, so, yeah we've got extra people out. And, uh, you know, I was out late last night because, as Greg said, you know, we, we, we call it a stress detail. The primary is just directly for robberies of businesses. So we I had my administrators out there in mark cars, and uh, they're – actually assign different areas throughout the county and we look at the areas where you know possible robberies may occur so their job is to be visible their job is to go into stores make contact with the cashiers and so um, and i think it, it is a successful program it's been successful over many years that we've been doing it so and we also uh you know without giving you a whole lot we can monitor some stores what's going on inside the store so if if you don't know we're watching, we are watching. Yeah. And, and of course, it's always the alcohol part. We got people are going to be going to parties. They're going to be drinking. You can tell them a thousand times, don't get behind the wheel, but it's going to happen. Is this, did you set up stops along the way someplace? Or? Yeah, we've got a DUI squad out every night. Uh, we we did a uh, traffic uh, uh, checkpoint uh, last week where we arrested a couple of people for DUI. And, you know, and this is something, this is a pet peeve of mine. Uh, or a zero tolerance thing of mine um, is it you know nothing wrong with alcohol. Go out, drink, you know, do whatever you want, but at least have one person in your group that you're driving there that's not drinking. And you know, I can tell you that that you know, as a law enforcement officer, I do this anyway. But if I know that I'm going to be driving a car at any point in time during the day, I don't drink. I, I don't have a beer or you know or a mixed drink and think, well, I'm going to you know, it's going to be two or three hours before I drive. I just don't drink. It's not worth it. It's not worth the risk, uh, and it's not worth the the consequence, the potential consequence that's out there of you injuring yourself, uh, killing yourself, or injuring or killing somebody else. It's just not worth it. Um, so, bring a designated driver if you've got you know if you if you got kids and you got a twenty year old kid or an eight or sixteen year old kid, bring them with you. Have them sit there and drive you home. You know, but uh, or friends. But uh, yeah, just don't get behind the wheel when you're drinking. Uh, and there's also this open container law, which I don't quite understand. How does that work? Uh, you can't have an open container of alcohol it, in your it, car. Even if you're not drinking, you're, 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 if you're in the car. Even with if somebody, you're not driving. Driving, right. 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 You, you can't have an open container of alcohol. Yeah. You can't be in possession of an open container of right. alcohol. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and, and there's a lot of people traveling this time of year. There's a lot of late parties and stuff. So, you know, it, it's you can either, uh, you know, be a defendant or you can be a victim or you can come home safe and and drive, get home safe if you just uh if you're smart and don't drink and drive and that's what they make taxis for so yeah. you know uh, i just recently knew somebody that called a taxi and that's the smartest thing you could have done you know they didn't have nobody to drive them home but uh, so they called the taxi you know get your car the next yeah. day smart move i heard a guy talking yesterday on a sports show on espn about a guy who's an nfl football player has a party bus yeah. and they were kidding busted on him for having a party bus he says hey 
We all get where we're going. We get driven to our door. Yeah, it's a safe thing. So, hey, Absolutely. get a party bus. This program is going to re-air now uh, right before New Year's Eve. So these are good tips for people who are going to go party. If you've got a group, get a bus. Get a van or something. All go together and get someone to drive it, as you point out. So keep it safe out there. It's, it's bad enough, as we saw the accident out near Forest High School yep. last week, when people are not drinking. When right. you add that alcohol, element of alcohol, it gets scary. Okay, here's a question from Heather off the Internet. Who says, well, the 80,000 people estimate, is that the crowd, correct crowd? And you uh, think tomorrow for the, for the parade? The yeah, 80, we, we, uh, we usually estimate between 60 and 80,000. Okay. Well, uh, they, the question is if I can find a question here, here it is. Uh, internet question said, uh, for the parade and the police will be there for control, the sheriff's saying numerous times, the department is understaffed. Are there enough officers to keep everybody safe for the parade in all of Ocala? Yes. Um, we pull uh, from, you know, the Ocala Police Department is the primary agency that's involved in the security of the parade, but we have assistance from the Sheriff's Office, from Denellum PD, and from uh, uh, from Bellevue PD. We also use uh, Highway Patrol, and uh, every now and then we'll, we'll have Game and Fish. You know, when you see the officers driving the cars and stuff down the parade and they look like they're in the parade, well, they are, but they're also part of the security team that's involved in the parade because they're watching as they're going down the parade route so yeah you know we've um, we've this parade's been in existence forever um, the last real big incident we had was in the early 80s uh, when it went down all the way through downtown we had is shoot. that why they stopped it i wonder why they stopped going taking it downtown well the reason it stopped going downtown was because of the courthouse uh, we used the courthouse uh, parking lot uh, back before it was the big courthouse as a dispersal area, but because the courthouse is built, we we changed the uh, the route to go down Eighth Avenue, and we used Tuscola Park as a dispersal area. But we had a shooting downtown, uh, but this was years and years and years ago. In fact, I was probably my second or third year here as a as a police officer. But you know, it's a safe event. Uh, you know, everybody's here to to enjoy the the parade and see Santa, and the kids love it. And um, we usually don't uh, don't have a a lot of issues. Sometimes you know, people drink too much and start running their mouth, and they get the they get to go visit the sheriff at the jail, but uh, other than that, we it's a pretty safe event. And we and this what the sheriff said earlier about the partnership between the two agencies. You'll see it tomorrow um, with uh, with the, the full cooperation of everybody to make sure we have a safe event. Yep, absolutely. And uh, you know, they you know, Greg asked for a certain amount of manpower, and we absolutely give it to him. And uh, you know, our guys are off duty, but they're coming in and they're going to take care of business. So. Um, certainly would be well manned. What about the Christmas cheer? What about the officers out there on duty? Do, do they have a little to say, well, you know what, tonight you know, it's the Christmas, you know, I'm going to give you a little bit of a break here, you know, just watch what you're doing, uh, don't do this anymore. I don't mean somebody drinking. I'm talking about just general courtesies that you may, over, you may extend during a holiday you wouldn't during the years. That actually happened. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, especially during the parade. I mean, I remember uh, it's been a couple of years since I've actually worked a, a post of the parade. But you know, my whenever I dealt with anybody, it was all you know. I would leave them with, "Hey, Merry Christmas." You know, uh, you, know you still got to do your job. You still have to hold people accountable. But you know, we have a great deal of discretion, and uh, you know, I think the officers know the time of year it is, and and uh, you know, they certainly are in the Christmas spirit too, and. You know, we try to do everything we can to maintain a safe community, but, you know, balance, you know, how we do and how we do enforcement. But, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and you'll find that, uh, I'd have to say, the large majority of law enforcement officers have a sense of humor. And I think the reason we do is because that's how we handle stress, yeah. you know. And uh, I think it's important to know that, you know, we understand people want to have fun. They want to enjoy themselves. So, you know, yeah, it's discretion of the officer. And, you know, it's not really me saying, well, you're going to take this action or take that action. We all got a heart, and I think that that's what they're going to use. They're going to use their discretion. All right, this show is going to air right before New Year's Eve, and we're going to look talk about what we think we'll see in 2014. I'm going to ask you both to update me on what your what your wishes are for the new year. I'm not, I got an idea what may be on Chris's list. We'll see what else you got on your list. We'll come back and ask the sheriff and ask the, the chief of police about the new year 2014. After this time out on the Ask the Cops program, presented by Daniel L. Hightower, lawyer, fighting for action and victim justice since 1976. 
This is the Ask the Cop Show on WOCA, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin in the new Old Fashioned Bank Radio Studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. Dry, itchy, scaly skin? Do you have psoriasis? Consider joining our research study. Rentstar Medical Research in Ocala is conducting a research study evaluating the effectiveness of investigational combination of two study medications for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. You may qualify if you're between the ages of 18 and 75 and have been diagnosed with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis for at least six months. For more information, please call Renstar in Ocala at 352-629-5800. Qualified participants may receive study-related medical care and study medication. Compensation for time and travel may also be provided. To find out more information about this psoriasis study, please call Renstar Medical Research at 352-629-5800. That's 352-629-5800. Renstar Medical Research, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. Hi, this is Tom Schmitz, the host of Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA. The Saturday Sports Page is your weekend destination for everything sports, from NASCAR to golf, baseball to boxing, and of course, the best, most comprehensive football coverage on the radio. Also, you don't want to miss my weekly Are You Kidding Me rant? So join me and JJ LaSalva every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA, The Source. The Source, WOCA, we recently completed our 12 Days of Christmas promotion, and our big winner at the end of the promotion was Ann Hamilton. Ann Hamilton, you are our big winner in the 12 Days of Christmas promotion. How did it feel when you heard your name said on the air? I just couldn't believe it. I thought maybe I was dreaming even I was standing up in the kitchen fixing my lunch. I just couldn't believe it. I'm just so excited. So you were listening to The Source, WOCA, and you knew it was time to pick a name. What did you say? I said, say Ann Hamilton and they did and I said did they really I would and then my phone went down I got so excited it this is just so wonderful this station is the greatest I mean it's exciting I listen all the time I just love it <laughs> it's like a family well Merry Christmas Ann Merry Christmas Happy New Year's everywhere in, in Ocala it's just so wonderful Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Drivers slow an average of 10% after passing a your speed sign, and they tend to stay slower for several miles. A lot of dieters started blogging in order to prove that they were committed to losing weight, and once they started writing about their weigh-ins, they attracted an audience, which made them feel accountable to others. And that connection, it helped them keep going. Sleeping will do more for your grade or your business presentation than pulling an all night. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new Old Fashioned Bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. Feels the way I do about you now And all the roads we have to walk are winding And all the lights that lead us there We're back on The Voice of Ocala. You just heard a recent version of Ask the Cops brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, attorney. Fighting for active victim justice since 1976. Now it's time to wrap up hour two with tweets and quotes. When my boss asked me who is the stupid one, me or him, I told him everyone knows he doesn't hire stupid people. Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> 
This one's from David Letterman. If you've done it, if what you've done is stupid but it works, then it really wasn't stupid at all. And finally, Emo Phillips. A computer once beat me at chess, but it was no damn match for me at kickboxing. Wow. Rage. <laughs> that that could have been Tom Schmitz could have said that too, by the way. <laughs> I could have, have seen it. Have you ever done that computer chess? I have not. Have you played chess on the computer, Josh? No. No, I have not. I'm, I'm a pretty good chess player. I can play chess with a – well, I say I'm a pretty good chess player. I, 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 I beat most of my friends that I play chess with. I'll put the computer on the easy version. Get your butt kicked. It waxes me nah. like I'm a three-year-old. <laughs> and I don't understand it. Computer's flawless. Bobby Fisher beat a computer. Okay. Or Eddie Fisher. I think it was Bobby One, Fisher. Uh, anyway, but he was, you know, a grand master chess player. So, you know, grand champion. I don't think you are, Tom. No offense. No, I, I definitely <laughs> no don't. I, sir. Trust me. Don't reach that level. I, I can bear it. You know what I'm a master at on the computer? Checkers. Minesweeper. Ooh, that's a good game. I could tear up some Minesweeper. I would kill a lot of time in class by playing Minesweeper. Minesweeper's a great time killer. You'll get to play in Minesweeper and look up, all of a sudden, hours gone by. Yep. Sorry, Professor. And, and <laughs> here's the thing. The hardest Minesweeper to play to me is the intermediate because the easy one is easy. And the one where you got to find the 99 bombs oh. is so hard that you... It's you impossible. Do. But the intermediate one you can do, and then you get your time. And then you, once you establish a good time, then you're sitting there just constantly trying to beat and that And you time. feel accomplished. You feel like you're actually doing something Yeah, when you get done, life. when you go, yeah, I beat. I have accomplished something in life. You're I have not. beat my time at Minesweeper. <laughs> then it slowly washes over you that... You have done no such thing, you moron. Yeah. <laughs> and you got a test next class, and you forgot that you're on a review sheet. Do you know, though, I didn't know for the first, you know, probably four or five years Minesweeper was out there. Had no idea how to even play the game. Had somebody had to show me how to play the game. Well, I still don't know how to play Sudoku. My mom loves to play Sudoku. Yeah, I can't, can't I have can't no idea. I've had people try to show me how to play Sudoku. I, there's no I was hope the kid when it comes that played that. Minesweeper when I was like five years old on a computer and just clicked just because it was fun. I could see that. I hate you. Before I knew how to play, obviously. I you, wasn't. Know what, you know what I really love playing though is Mahjong tiles. The one where you got to click the two tiles that are the same and they come in like a dragon shape and a cat shape. And it, look on your computer, it's there under games. I guess so. What about a Rubik's Cubes? I do not know. I, how could, to... I, I got Rubik's. See, but Rubik's Cubes were my wheelhouse. They came out in the 80s. And I got to where I could I could solve a Rubik's cube. When I was real good, like in high school, I could solve a Rubik's cube. You could you could like mix a Rubik's cube up for me and hand it to me, and under about six seven minutes, I could have it solved. Could you ever do it behind your back? No, those kids were good. But is it the fastest time like seven seconds? How is that even? I watched it, I watched a kid once. In my, I watched a kid in my high school once. I watched him sat there with the time time thing and lost twenty bucks. Because I bet him he couldn't do it in 90 seconds or less. And I mixed it up, and he did it in about 81 seconds. Wow. The whole room is cube. Done. It's impressive. Speaking of done, that's hour two in the books. Coming up in hour three, Pal Latimer from Warchant.com stops by talking Florida State. And it's a high school athletic spotlight with Josh LaSalva. Plus, we'll get you ready for the playoffs of the NFL and all the bowl games this weekend. Right here, Buddy Sports Page, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of Auto Check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige. It's all there in our name. Hi, it's Lisa Midget with Kinetic Motion Fitness. I'm looking forward to a fun, healthy summer, and I have a
have a few ideas that might just help you and your friends stay in shape and have fun too. Along with awesome personal training and group classes at our warm and inviting fitness studio, we also offer fitness classes at your home or business. And if you're tired of the same old, same old boring cake and punch party, why not let us host a hot new health trend, a fitness party at your home or office. If you're having a hard time getting to the gym this summer because of your crazy schedule, then work out with your friends or co-workers in a private group fitness class or host a fitness party at your home or office. We will bring you and your friends or co-workers one of our great workouts like Zumba, Piloxing, Body Bar, Yoga, Tai Chi, Boot Camp, or Zumba Tomics for Kids. We can even help you reach your long-term goals by meeting at your place weekly for an on-location workout. Check out our website at kmfocala.com and like us on Facebook. Kinetic Motion Fitness is located just five minutes from downtown Ocala near the Skylark Plaza. Kinetic Motion Fitness. We're ready when you are. You know what that anticipation feels like when you're about to open a gift? In a Box offers personalized gifts. Everything you'll need for that special occasion. In a Box. Holidays, birthdays, graduations, spa days, weddings, anniversaries, get wells, and more. In a Box. Visit inaboxcelebrations.com and pick your theme. There's even a corporate option. In a Box creates the magic, and you'll be the rock star. Visit inaboxcelebrations.com, partnered with Woodley Gardens. Hi, I'm Angie Lewis. Let's talk every Tuesday afternoon on WOCA, the voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. This is Austin Tavern reminding you to stay in contact with us at WOCA. Find us on Twitter and Instagram at Voice of Ocala. Make sure to become a friend of our Facebook page and call us at 622-9622. Hey everybody, this is Kelly Hart, your new host of the Ocala Magazine radio show. Join me every Friday at 10 a.m. when we bring the pages of Ocala Magazine to life with in-depth interviews from and about your community. So don't miss Marion County's favorite city magazine, Ocala Magazine, every Friday at 10 a.m. right here on 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, your company supplier of banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Where you give them approved artwork by noon, the next day by 4 p.m., you pick up your banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. That's 368-2404. Don't forget, they do vehicle wraps also. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. Hi, I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. When I started thinking about this year's Christmas greeting, I wanted to make it something meaningful. So here is my heartfelt wish for us all. Good health, prosperity, and the peace to be happy, whatever our circumstances. Remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. Visit the WOCA website at www.woca.com. WOCA, Ocala. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics.
Andy Hook Elementary. Today, Connecticut State Police released their final report. It includes previously unseen video from inside the home of gunman Adam Lanza, but offers no insight, new insight on the motive. Better late than never, in this case a lot better. MasterCard advisor Spending Pulse says more shoppers than usual put off their holiday buying until the last minute, enough to bump overall sales to 3.5%. An Australian researcher describes it as 3D printing for your body. He's part of the team working on a pen like device that can apply human cells directly onto seriously injured people. It contains stem cells, which could grow into functional bone or cartilage. He's recorded a song with Willie Nelson. Now Snoop Dogg's partnered with someone else who might not have expected, Secretary of State John Kerry. The two posted a video on Instagram, smiling and fist bumping at a White House reception for Kennedy Center Award nominees. This is ABC News. Happy Honda days are here. That means you could unwrap a great deal on a 2014 Accord. Not only is it from KBB.com's best value brand, but it's packed with standard features like hands-free calling. Think that sounds good? Feast your ears on this holiday power ballad from Michael Bolton. Everything's a little more special during Happy Honda Days. See your Honda dealer today. Based on 2013 Brand Image Awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. A lot can happen during the life of your interstate car battery. Nice ride. Thanks. Want to go steady? I now pronounce you husband and wife. Honey, I think it's time. It's a boy. Jimmy, soccer practice. Dad, can I borrow the car? Hey, nice ride. Thanks. Want to go steady? No battery lasts longer than an interstate, and the new Interstate AGM lasts up to three times longer than the competition. To find a dealer near you, visit Interstate Battery. How much time? 30? 30 seconds? I'm on right now. I don't believe you. Okay, okay. Enough kidding around. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. And now it's time for the Buddy Martin Buddy, Sports Bay. He actually had me stay here last night. In his gym. It's like I don't fit in. It's like I don't belong here. Let's go talk to a couple of guys that never gamble. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. Gambling is illegal at Bushwood, sir, and I never slice. And now, here's Buddy. found buddy sports page i'm the host tom schmitz buddy on christmas break but a guy who is not on break but always has the feeling of christmas in him because remember christmas is more about jesus than it is about giving presents but this man believes in both jesus and giving good deals or presents during the christmas season chris spears from prestige auto chris tom schmitz with you today how was your christmas holiday and i'm sure it was great knowing you Yes, sir. That's an awful generous introduction, and a few more like that, and I'll be uh, voting you to take the lead spot here soon, and we'll keep Buddy away. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that's going to happen. I'm sure he's in Winter Haven or up north with with the grandkids, someplace uh, having a having a merry old time. Someplace undisclosed. Someplace on assignment. Yes, on the, assignment. Uh, <laughs> well, Chris, uh, you, you've been in a giving mood all December. I, I know you've been giving, get, not giving cars away, but you've been doing your best to put people into Christmas presents that they can uh, have all year long. Uh, how's it going out there, and do you still have gifts to give away? Uh, yes, sir, we do. Uh, at our website, prestigeforyou.com, I've been marking cars down. And uh, uh, Yesterday we had a family come up from West Palm Beach. Today I had a man come up from Tampa. Uh, they just Texted me a little while ago, a, a fellow from North Carolina just put a deposit on a Saab. It's going to fly in next Saturday. Um, so uh, we've got our prices are certainly being generous to our to our locals, but uh, but those auto trader and cars.com shoppers of the world are also picking them up. So if your listeners are looking to do anything by year's end, uh, it's now is an excellent time to take advantage of some stuff that I'm uh, marking down for year-end closeouts and uh we're uh, a lot of businesses have cycles for how they keep inventory. We just don't take our cars back to the auction, the ones that don't sell after 30 or 60 days. I, I'd rather uh, mark them down and sell them to a local customer than, uh, just, than just take them back to an auction. But uh, uh, things have been very busy the last few days. Uh, we did have a little little quiet period before, uh, as, as, as it always is with Santa, but uh, 
It uh, seems like yesterday we had um, we must have had thirty five or forty people at the store. It was just it was just busy during the course of the day, and our internet uh, leads of and folks emailing in wanting pictures and everything has just been going crazy, Tom. Well, you, uh, you it's been exchange day yesterday, uh, December twenty sixth, December twenty seventh, the day everybody takes their exchanges back. You don't take cars back, but you do exchange cars. People can come in and exchange their car for nicer, newer ones. Yes, sir. A nicer, newer car. That's exactly uh, exactly it. We're, uh, if anybody that's, uh, that's, that's the Christmas is gone and you, you go out to your car to, and you, you're looking at your car and you're going, uh, you know, humbug, then uh, come out and we'll help you exchange that for a nicer, newer car. And Because uh, it's, it's crazy for me to, you know, in my opinion, for people to make car payments on a car they hate. And you you can you, you give everybody a look. You don't turn people away just because their beacon score may not be seven hundred. No, sir. It's that that's exactly the truth. Matter of fact, I have a new gentleman starting with me uh, tomorrow, and uh, he's been in the insurance business. And uh, we we visited today for quite a while. And and uh, my uh, what am I uh, heavy emphasis on him? I says a lot of people. Think, think of what we do as kind of a commodity business where it's all about the transaction. But I told him uh, my, my, my most important goal is whether somebody leaves in their car that they came in or they leave in one of the nicer new cars that, that we have. I says, either way, I want them to say, we'll, we'll try these guys again because uh, it's, uh, we, we're, we try to, we're becoming bolder and, and trying to be bold in our, our proclaiming of, of being a good place to do business and our love for Jesus Christ and trying to mirror the goodness that he had, and, and, and that isn't just something I say to sell three more cars a, a month because that, that would ultimately curse me, and I, I've got to, if they say the, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, then, then I certainly have that. So uh, we, we're men, and, and we fail in many ways on a regular basis, but uh, the last thing I want to do is, is have somebody come in and, uh, and, and look around and not feel like they weren't treated uh, as good as possible. And, and if we can trade, we'll certainly do all that we can, even to the point where we'll, we finance cars ourselves. But if it's just not quite the right time to, to do something or we don't have the right car, then, then I want to leave somebody with a smile. And, and uh, you know, if they go someplace else, great for them. But I just want them, when we come to mind, if I see somebody in Walmart or Publix, I, I never want to have to duck from them. I, I, you know, I, I tell people all the time that they end up finding that right little car for their daughter here or there. I says, congratulations. I just thank them for, for us being on their shopping list. So, uh, yes, it, it isn't about we're, we're, we, we left the transaction element of our business behind a long time ago because we're in the people business. Well, and, and you do help people rebuild their credit. You do help people get nicer, newer cars that are within their budget. But you can also help somebody. If somebody's got fifteen or $20,000 in the expose, disposable income, you have cars for them as well. Yes, sir. We have, we have, a, we have a little bit of everything. I just, uh, we just sold uh, a week and a half ago on the 15th. We sold a, a 2011 Escalade. Uh, I've got a 2014 Camry. So we've, we've got like new stuff. Just, to, just somebody that... That wants to save that uh, that ten to thirty five percent off that first year's uh, depreciation. You know all the all the financial advisors say to do that. I know sometimes our little interpersonal pride wants us to go uh, get something brand new with eighteen miles on it. But uh, there's no one in the, that's in the financial advisement business that's telling people to go out and uh, and absorb that twenty five or thirty five percent first year depreciation. Uh, that that money's too hard to get back. And since we only have a limited number of years to to work and make money. We certainly don't want to make a three or thirteen thousand dollar mistake just by having to drive the first two thousand miles on a car. Well, Chris Spears, if, if if I wanted to find you, I know I could find you out on a College Road two hundred or in Bellevue, but how can I find you on the internet? It's prestige for you dot com. That's the word prestige, the number four, and then the letter u dot com. You can just Google Prestige Auto Sales Ocala, um, but we're uh, uh, our phone number is six nine four one two three four. And uh, if I'm not there and you'd like to sit with me personally, just simply call and I'll, I'll uh, be happy to visit with you. I have Facebook friends that stop in at a guy that been, we've been uh, messaging for about 60 days on Facebook. He came in last night and visited with me, and uh, we're going to put something together for him. And, and, you know, we do finance our cars, which makes us a little bit different. And we also take just about anything in on trade. I actually sold a diesel truck to a guy yesterday that traded in his Kubota, uh, a Kubota tractor. Uh, in, in his in his part of his down payment. So if you've got something in the garage that you're not using, uh, shotguns or flat screen TVs or a, a Kubota tractor that you, that you're not using, if you if you can use a nicer newer car instead, 
uh, take some pictures of it, come in, and we'll try to make a deal. Well, Chris Spears, I know you'll either be selling cars or coaching basketball, so have a great yes, week, sir. and we'll talk to you next Friday. All right. Thank you so much, Tom. Chris Spears, Prestige Auto. We're going to take a break. We come back. Powell Latimer, Warchant.com checks in. Get the set for Florida State Auburn in the BCS National Title Game next on Buddy Sports Page, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The source. Since 1976, Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer, has been fighting for accident victim justice in North Central Florida and statewide. He believes everyone in America should follow the rules, including the insurance companies. He and his firm have experience fighting for victims of personal injury, wrongful death, workers' compensation, and Social Security disability, as well as serving those in need of help with bankruptcy, simple wills, and estate plans. The mission at the law offices of Daniel L. Hightower, PA, is to represent deserving clients and recover the maximum benefits they are entitled to by law in a timely manner. In personal injury and workers' compensation cases, there are no fees or costs unless a recovery is made. The law office of Daniel L. Hightower is located at 7 East Silver Springs Boulevard, Suite 300. For your free consultation, call 352-629-7777 or 1-888-LAW-1976 and visit danhightower.com for more information. Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice and the proud sponsor of Ask the Cops. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new Old Fashioned Bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. If you didn't catch around the water cooler on Buddy's sports page this week, here's what you missed. It's amazing to me we have four quarterbacks and two running backs. But there's five offensive linemen, only one quarterback on every team to start. And you're telling me that only quarterbacks and running backs are the best players in the game? Yes. Well, we know, we know this. This is That's an age-old age argument. It's uh, the skill position players are going to get the most attention. Well, quarterbacks are the most important. Around the water cooler, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 o'clock on Buddy's sports page right here on WOC. The source. Dr. Seaborn Hunt, board certified ophthalmologist, the only ophthalmologist in Marion County offering bladeless laser cataract surgery with astigmatism correction. What does this mean to you? It means that your cataract surgery would be done with the newest and most advanced cataract surgical techniques on the market today. It means no more metal blades and more precise incisions. Laser cataract surgery combined with the new technology multifocal lens implants allows you the opportunity to be independent of glasses for most things that you do on a daily basis. Call Dr. Seaborn Hunt at 873-7200. That's 873-7200. Don't get caught without your daily source of senior deals. Pick up your copy of the Senior Voice newspaper. It's your source for schedule and events tailored to seniors with information you need, like a list of free events in the area. We even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company to you that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about them. For more information, call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223. And pick up your copy of the Seniors Voice at most any business up and down the 200 corridor. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. I do, I do, I do, I do. This heartwarming Broadway favorite takes a musical look at the marriage of Michael and Agnes and their life together over 50 years. They go through wedding night jitters, raise a family, negotiate midlife crises, quarrel, separate, reconcile, and grow old together. Ocala audiences are in for a unique experience as the original creators have reconceived the show to include a separate couple for each of the six episodes. I do, I do, I do, I do. On stage at the Ocala Civic Theater, January 9th through the 19th. Hey, Mom and Dad, is your college senior or recent grad home for the holidays? Then I bet we know what tops your wish list, helping them get a new job in the new year. Workforce Connection, soon to become Career Source Citrus Levy Marion, has free job placement services they can use right now. And be sure to watch for our Hire a Grad Job Fair in May 2014. Good gainful employment is the gift that keeps on giving. Unwrap the possibilities today and call 1-800-434-JOBS or visit WorkforceConnectionFL.com. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Happy holidays from all of us at WOCA. Hi, this is Robin. May God's happiness, love, and joy be with you and yours this holiday season. Merry Christmas. And 
other words, I love you. We're back on Buddy Sports page. We'll get the headlines in a moment. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Steve Fletcher of Marion Senior Services. He just stopped by, he was listening to the radio and heard us talking about the Rubik's Cube. Brought by and gave to the voice of Ocala a Rubik's Cube. Another story. A solved Rubik's Cube. He probably solved it on the way. So now none of us want to mess with it. He said he could do it in under two minutes. <laughs> wow. So thanks. Served in the military. He's a veteran. 22 years in the Army. Just retired from the Army. Stephen Fletcher of Marion Senior Services. Another confirmed listener. Look out. We may get we, to 60. We're growing. We may get to 60 <laughs> listeners. Right now, though, Pal Latimer of Warchant.com joins us. Get this set up for Florida State, Auburn in the BCS National Championship game. Pal, thanks so much for taking time out for us today. No worries, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Getting a, getting a little excited. Got a got about a month and a half to go before the next. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. That seems like it's a month and a half to go. Pal, how big of how big a deal is this five week layoff for teams like Florida State? Well, I, I don't know if it'll be in terms of affecting the game or whether or not they'll be prepared. I mean, you got to you got to give Jimbo Fisher a lot of credit at Florida State. He's been pretty doggone good in bowl prep. Um, he's undefeated at, in, in bowls as a head coach of Florida State, and they've got a good system. It's basically carbon copied off of what Nick Saban does. So um, that system has been working okay, and, and there's no there's no evidence in the past that would suggest Florida State would not be prepared for this game. Well, Florida State comes into this game 13-0 and after dismantling everyone they played. Auburn comes into the game with one loss after – barely skating by against Georgia and Alabama in the last two games of the season, then uh, winning a pretty convincingly going away in the SEC championship game. My question to you is, is it a good thing or a bad thing that Florida State hasn't really been tested throughout the year? Well, I'm sure all the SEC fans in the world will say, Florida State hasn't played anybody. They went through the fans of the ACC. Um, but <laughs> that, that being aside, um, I – I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. Florida State has been <laughs> singularly focused um, all year. It's the most focused team of any sport that I've ever been around, and, and they've always been able to play angry. I mean, that game against Clemson, that's at Clemson against a, a, a team that was ranked number three in the country at the time and is still considered one of the best teams in the country. And, I mean, Florida State beat the pants off of them, and that's a Clemson team that beat, that keep in mind, that Clemson team beat a healthy Georgia team, which Auburn beat the shell of a Georgia team that was after all the injuries that Georgia went through. Um, so I think there's, there's Florida state has, there's nothing to suggest that Florida state wouldn't be good in a close game. I do think that they, that Auburn is the best team that they will have faced all year. So that'll be a, a new level of challenge. Um, but I don't think Florida state's going to buckle if it's in a close game. Well, you always hear about Gus Malzahn with his tempo, Gus Malzahn with his tempo, Gus Malzahn with the tempo. He wants to keep it fast. He wants to go. He wants to go. He wants to go. What does Florida State's defense, what kind of problems does Florida State's defense offer for that kind of up-tempo game? What's Jeremy Pruitt going to do, or what does he do as offense, as a defensive coordinator to try to stifle some of that up-tempo? There's, well, there's a couple things. Mainly Florida State's defense is uh, shiftable with the same personnel. And what I mean by that is most teams – if you want to shift to a nickel package or a pass rush package or a run stop package, you got to make some substitutions and bring somebody in, which is why tempo affects you. Because you, if, if a team's running a tempo offense, you got to stay in your just basic defense and play kind of really vanilla. Florida State's personnel with Christian Jones on the edge, moved to the outside, he can play both linebacker and and defensive end. Lamarcus Jordan can come and play nickel back, or he can slide over and even be a linebacker. Um, he can even move into the safety spot. All the linebackers can cover if they need to. So that allows Florida State to adjust on the fly to those tempo teams. Now, Clemson's a really good example of that type of tempo team uh, that likes to run plays quickly. And Florida State had all the answers for Clemson and really slowed them down. Um, and that's been the comparison that a lot of players have made to Auburn. It's like, well, they look a lot like Clemson in the way that they run tempo and, and do big things. But 
that defense is it, the way that it can shift and adjust makes it very, very hard to throw off base. Well, now Gus Malzahn really runs an offense I know quite a bit about because I went to Georgia Southern where they ran the triple option from under center. Gus Malzahn's offense is pretty much the triple option from the shotgun. What what kind of problems, if any, will that prove for Florida State? Or is it just because they've had five weeks of preparation, they can prepare for an offense like the triple option? I, I think it, it's hard to prepare for, for an offense like Auburn, not because it's a triple option, because it's really freaking good. Um, they block better than any team. Better, I mean, that's the best block. They're one of the better blocking units I've seen in the country all year. They really can move you off the ball. They're really sound in the way, in the way that they – and their assignments when they block, that's the thing that will give people, that will give Florida State trouble more so than the option or if it's a passing game or whatever. They're just good at what they do. Um, now, Florida State, the knock on Florida State early in the season was that you could run on them if you were strong and could pa- overpower them. That hasn't been the case after Boston College. Everyone's tried to run on Florida State, and it hasn't really worked out that well. So, um I think more so this is just going to be a good blocking unit, and that's going to be the trouble that's going to get Florida State. Well, now you know there's going to be detractors out there, and we are in SEC country down here in Ocala, although we have a large contingent of Florida State fans, and we're the official radio of Florida State, by the way, WOCA here, playing all the floor. We'll have the national championship game right here on our airwaves. A lot of people from the SEC f- fans here say – but Auburn's not even the best team in the SEC. Alabama is. So if Florida State wins, they won't even be beating the best SEC team. Oh, that's a crap argument. If you were the, the, the they were the SEC champion, they're the SEC champion. If you if you were Alabama and you wanted to be the best team in the SEC, I mean, should have should have won the game. I agree with that 100%. I'm a, I'm a proponent of you can't even qualify for one of these national championship games unless you won your, your conference title. I, I thought a couple of years ago when we had LSU, all, all, Alabama in the title game as a repeat, I was like, well, one of them didn't even win their conference. How could they be considered one of the two best teams in the country? So I understand that. Now, given that Florida State is playing the BCS, the last year of the BCS – What's your take on this, the BCS? Has it worked, or are you glad to see it go? Um, I think it, it's worked. It's, you know, for all, the, for all the yelling and complaining, it's actually worked out okay. Um, but that's not to say that there's not people that are going to yell and complain about uh, the playoff system as well. College football, and really all levels of football, is really just about yelling and complaining. Um, so the, co- <laughs> the coaches of the four and five and six teams – are going to yell and scream just as loud as the coaches of two and three teams do now. That, that's just going to move on down the line. Even if you made it a 64-team playoff, 65, 66, and 67 would still yell and complain that they didn't get in. Well, we've been on the telephone now for 10 minutes, and we haven't yet, but we're about to, talk about the most dynamic player in college football this year. Started out as a 25-1 to favorite in Sports Illustrated's preseason poll to win the Heisman went through, as we know, a fantastic season underneath center, had the the off-the-field issues that proved to be non-issues, but they hung over his head for a long time. How's the Heisman Trophy winner doing with practice and all right now? I know this is going to sound boring and cliche and like it's, it's ridiculous, but, I mean, he's been exactly the same. And, you know, every player has said it, every coach has said it, and he's been the exact same in, like, literally every – it's almost uh, – we're, we're losing Powell. We seem to have lost Powell, Latimer. We'll try to get him back. We'll, we'll, we'll try – we'll effort to get Powell back. We'll effort to get Powell back to continue that. We're talking about Jameis Winston. Sound like he turned into a robot. The uh, Heisman Trophy winner and – how, and how he is, uh, how the Heisman has affected him, if he's changed, what's going on with him. And he had started to say that as cliche and boring as it sounds, he's been exactly the same. He hasn't um, hadn't affected him. He's he's been w- working effortlessly the way he did all through the season. When we get if we can get Powell back on, if we can get Powell back, oh, do we have Powell back on? Powell, sorry. sorry about that. We had a we had some sort of phone issue there. But, Powell, you were saying about okay. Jameis Winston that as boring as it sounds, he's pretty much going about business as normal. Yes, 
he hadn't changed. He hadn't changed a bit. His play, he's the only time that he's had a bad that he's had a, even you could a game you could call bad uh, is when the defense kept him off, when his own defense kept him off the field at Wake Forest by scoring by scoring like four or five touchdowns. Um, and he's been the same in every media availability he's, he's had. He was very. I think he handled himself extremely well in the Heisman ceremony with the New York media, which is um, which is then be a little bit more ordinary. Um, and your average media core, and all the national writers in the world were there. So he's handled it very, very well um, to the point where you you kind of get the sense that you're watching something very, very special. Has the has the Heisman parade though the parade of obligations you have to do with doing the morning shows and doing the late night shows and doing speaking engagements and all during this five weeks has that affected him at all? Or do you think that's affected his practice or anything like that? I don't think so. I mean, we when we talked to him about it the other, the other day before Christmas, um, he said, you know, I was just kind of ready to get back to playing football. I was ready to get back to practice and, and be done with it and get back out here. So, um, you know, I, 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 don't, it, it, I haven't, we haven't seen him play a game yet, um, but he's, uh, he's going to have a couple time to kind of get refocused and, and get back in a groove of things if he even was not in a groove of things at all. So, I mean, he's looked, fine. He's looked the same in practice the last two or three days that we've seen him. Well, the Auburn defense now is not stellar like the Auburn offense is. <laughs> what, are, what are some of the weaknesses Florida State's looking to exploit against the Auburn defense in a national championship game? Well, I, the, the, I think first off, the, the, Florida, the Florida State offense thinks it can, it can move the ball on anybody, um, and there's no evidence to suggest that they can't against anybody. I mean, it's, it's arguably the best offense in the country. Um, I think it is from an. I, I haven't looked at the numbers. I think it is from an efficiency standpoint. Um, but th- I, I mean, everything's worked for Florida State up here. No, I mean, no one's really, sh- no one's made them one dimensional at all. Um, so you know, you, you got to think that they feel confident about all parts of their of their offensive attack. Um, and, and you know, especially with the with the different number of weapons they have. It, it's. I mean, I don't know. It, if you're a defensive coordinator, what do you do to stop him? I don't know. <laughs> That's a very good point. You know, you're only going up against the Heisman Trophy winner who, in his first game, made Pittsburgh look pedestrian on the road in a conference game, continued that with a blowout of Clemson, kept it up all season, beat his arch rival Florida like he owned them, and then went into the ACC championship game and absolutely dismantled a 10-win Duke team. So you're right. What are you going to do? I don't know. It'd be easier question to ask how the heck Duke got 10 wins than that. <laughs> uh, we're, we're getting ready for this game, but in the background, the pink elephant in the room is the University of Texas said that they will wait and take as long as they need to take to search out every coach, every coach availability and every coach's uh, desire to coach at the University of Texas. And a lot of people have said what they're really saying is we're waiting for Jimbo Fisher to get done with the national championship game. What's the talk in Tallahassee? Well, you know, I, I, I'll, say, I'll say this as a preface. You know, Jimbo Fisher has, declined, has, you know, he said specifically, you know, I'm not talking about any other jobs. That's unfair. Um, so he's not, he's been clear that he's not going to discuss anything like that. Um, at least not publicly. Um, I, I, I know that they are still working out the final. They've agreed, in, he's agreed in principle to a new contract with Florida State, and he's all, they're still working out. I think they're haggling out the final details of that. Um, we've been kind of waiting on that for a couple of weeks for that to finally become official, um, his new contract. But I mean, really, in, in, with, when you're talking about Texas, it doesn't matter if you sign a contract because Texas can still, Texas can still throw away more money at you and pay the buyout. And that the money's not really an object to Texas. It's whether or not they want you and, and whether or not you want to go there as a coach. And with Jimbo not really commenting on that, it's hard to get a sense of whether or not he, whether or not that'd be something that would really get him interested. Um, he, I, I, you know, you got to think that he's knowing that, knowing that Jameis is going to be there another year, you're going to have that ride. And you know also that, you know, he's built something really special in Florida State. Um, and at no point, you know, if he keeps, if he stays there, there's no one really in the ACC that's going to consistently challenge him. You wonder if Clemson's going to be able to maintain their level of play without Taj Boyd, and if Chad Moore, their offensive coordinator, leaves for whatever. Um, so right now, Florida State's top dog in the ACC. There's no reason to think that they should lose very many games in the ACC. So 
you're almost guaranteed a spot in the national picture every year if you stay at Florida State. And the way that he's recruited, he's built something good. But now, whether or not he want to leave that, you know, I don't know. I know Texas could throw out many, many millions of reasons why. So we'll, so we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Talking with Powell Latimer of WarChat.com. Powell, on a sad note, it was reported that the grandson of retired State and Florida State, Florida State University football legendary coach Bobby Bowden was one of two young men that were killed Thursday in a car accident in Polk County. Jeffrey T.J. Bowden, 23, a recent graduate of Florida State, uh, died in this car accident. Has, has there been a statement by Coach Bowden or anything by the university uh, about this accident? Uh, yes, I believe there was a statement. Coach Bowden uh, and his and Terry Bowden and Jeff Bowden um, all released statements uh, after after that uh, tragedy. I was an incredibly sad thing, and and you know no one wants to. That's not that's not the the type of news that you like to report, um, just because it's so sad, and you obviously feel for the Bowden family. But yeah, they they've released statements. Um, I, I was I was I've been out of town the last two days, so I, I haven't seen them, but I, I I know that we've got them, and I know they're they've. We, they're on warchat.com and, and many other places as well. Um, so uh, you know, you, you just you just kind of you feel for the family, and you know, you keep your thoughts with them um, in moments like this. Yeah, that's the second Bowden family accident and tragedy in less than ten years. His daughter Ginger uh, Bowden Madden lost her son and her husband in two thousand four. I remember that crash in, on took place on I ten and right outside of Tallahassee. So really sad, really sad moment. Bobby, I guess, said that they had just celebrated Christmas in Panama City, so heart and prayers go out to the Bowden family. Absolutely, yes. Uh, well, Powell, before we let you get out of here, we have to have your synopsis of what you think is going to happen in the game and then give us a score. Oh, you're going to put me on the spot, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I do think that Auburn will be able to score on Florida State. I don't think Florida State will be able to roll over Auburn um, defensively, um, I don't think Florida State defense will be able to totally shut Auburn out. I think they'll be successful in spurts, um, but Auburn is too—you got to think Auburn's just too good to keep off the scoreboard um, for the for the whole game, or, or you know, completely shut them down. Um, I think it'll be a high-scoring affair. I, you know, I think it'll be like a like a I don't I I, I don't know maybe like 35-28 or maybe even like a 45-30 type deal. Um, I do think Florida State will win. Um, I think that I think they've proved themselves to be the best team in college football. Yeah, I mean they basically took you basically made a carbon copy of Alabama's defense, which has largely been the best defense in the country the last two years. Those types of athletes, and then threw a once in a generation quarterback on the offensive side of the ball and said, "Go, go have fun." I mean that's that's what you're talking about. This is a this is a very 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 good football team. Um, I just don't see them losing to Auburn. I, I know Team of Destiny and all that good stuff, but and I, I'm sure that Auburn uh, and Auburn is a great team. But if Florida State's just a, just a doggone juggernaut, uh, so you got to think that they're going to be able to, to win. Um, but I do think I do think there will be some points. I think Florida State probably wins the football game this year, but if not this year, they better do something next year because Jameis Winston's out of here after next year. That kind of they'll throw dollar signs at him. He won't, I don't believe he'll stay in Tallahassee past next year. Pal Latimer, WarChant.com. If people want to follow you, how can they get in touch with you, or how can they follow you on the internet? Oh uh, yeah, well I'm on I'm on the Twitters. Uh, it's Powell underscore WarChant. Um, I'm out. I'm out there. I, you know, you can also follow. It. Most of my stuff also goes on the Warchant account, which is just Warchant on Twitter. You can also check us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, um, and Warchant.com obviously is our website. And we're frequently on the message boards and uh, and posting stories and all that good stuff. And we just kind of new. We just got new staff. Ben Jones. I'll give him a shout out. He's our new guy. So we are. We have a whole compliment. So we typically will not t- not too many hours going to go by without us having some kind of content at some point in the day. So. Well, pal, I'll try to get uh, get you on my Saturday show one more time before the national championship game Monday a week from now. But uh, until then, good luck to you and everything you do. Good luck to Florida State. And uh, if I don't talk to you before the national championship game, we'll definitely have you on with a wrap-up of the national championship game. All right, man. Take care. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Pal Latimer of WarChant.com. We're going to take a break. We come back. The ever-growing in popularity. I hear he's got four people that actually listen to him now. <laughs> Josh LaSalva's High School <laughs> Athletic Spotlight. Getting you ready for the King of the S- Kingdom of the Sun basketball tournament. That's next. Buddy Sports Page, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. 
Hi, this is Lisa Midget, owner of Kinetic Motion Fitness here in Ocala, Florida. A lot of you have experienced our great classes and personal small group training, but did you know we now offer dynamic workouts on DVD? These high quality, locally produced, effective DVD workouts can go where you go. Going on vacation? No problem. We can go with you. Friends and relatives out of town who are jealous that you get to come to KMF? No problem. We ship anywhere in the United States for free. Our great lineup of four DVDs includes Kinetic Achieve, Kinetic Couples, Kinetic Core and Kinetic Campus. Four great workouts for the entire family on DVD. Sound interesting? Check them out on our website at kmfocala.com. While you're there, check out our class schedule and come see us. We're only five minutes from downtown across from the Skylark Plaza. Visit kmfocala.com and like us on Facebook. KMF will get you results at our studio or at home with one of our DVDs. Kinetic Motion Fitness. We're ready when you are. Visit kmfocala.com for more information. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. The Angela State Farm Agency is located at 1122 Northeast 36th Avenue, where a visitor are always welcome and the coffee pot is always on. 1370 WOCA At the source, WOCA, we recently completed our 12 Days of Christmas promotion and our big winner at the end of the promotion was Ann Hamilton. Ann Hamilton, you are our big winner in the 12 Days of Christmas promotion. How did it feel when you heard your name said on the air? I just couldn't believe it. I thought maybe I was dreaming even I was standing up in the kitchen fixing my lunch. I just couldn't believe it. I'm just so excited. So you were listening to the source, WOCA, and you knew it was time to pick a name. What did you say? I said said, say Ann Hamilton. And they did. And I said, did they really? I would, And then my phone went down. I got so excited. It, this is just so wonderful. This station is the greatest. I mean, it's exciting. I listen all the time. I just love it. <laughs> it's like a family. Well, Merry Christmas, Ann. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's everywhere in, in Ocala. It's just so wonderful. We're not just the horse capital of the world. Ocala Marion County is now the hoops capital, too, thanks to the 2013 National Champion CF Patriots basketball team. The McDonald All-State Agency brings you the reigning kings of the court all season long right here on WOCA. Coach Tim Ryan and the Patriots look to defend their national crown and get set to host the state tournament this coming spring. The McDonald All-State Agency brings you CF basketball only on WOCA, the source. That is one sound no one likes to hear, but if it happens, know that it will be reported in seconds to the right authorities. AA Lock, Dock, and Security is your company for your home and your business. AA Lock, Dock, and Security, where you can get that extra key made or have your lock rekeyed. Questions to protect your home and business, call 352-867-1965. Or stop by AA Lock, Dock, and Security at their new location, 219 Northwest 10th Street here in Ocala. Remember, be proactive, not reacting after it happens. Call 352-867-1965. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala downtown newspaper online. Austin Tapman coming in with a little journey that time. See, he was criticized got, earlier for his music, got, and now he's on top. got a little ability to find some music. Just because I played the Lumineers twice in twice two in days. Two days. Tom got really offended. I did. I did get offended. He got really offended. Right now, it's time to go out to the High School Athletic Spotlight on Community Gazette Day, brought to you by Gateway Bank. Here's the host of the High School Athletic Spotlight, 
Josh LaSalva. Well, you know, Tom, since it is Christmas break for us uh, Marion County students, there's not a whole lot of athletics going on except one big tournament that's actually nationally known, and that's the Kingdom of the Sun tournament. It's the 40th annual Kingdom of the Sun. It's basketball, everybody, and it's held right here in Marion County at Vanguard High School. Today was the opening tip-off, and we had a couple scores already. Berkeley Prep beat Deerfield Beach 57-40. Louisville Trinity they're from Kentucky. They beat Spruce Creek 70 to 56. American Heritage uh, lost to Evans 55 53. Sandalwood and Deltona. Sandalwood lost unexpectedly, and Deltona ran away with it 63 50. But the big game tonight, so right after the show, Tom, Vanguard versus Denellen. There's 16 teams in this tournament, 12 from Florida and two from Marion County. The only two teams, Denellen and Vanguard. Vanguard is looking really, really good. After a rough start in the beginning of the year, They've really found their form. They beat Lake Mineola, which is a district foe. And Lake Mineola was undefeated going into that game. Number one ranked in the state. They are raw. So Vanguard took off Lake Mineola 68-67 right before coming into this tournament. So they're on their good foot right now. If they beat Donellan, they progress. They play Deltona. So that's what me and my couple of my buddies are going to uh, Vanguard High School tonight to watch that game, as well as LaSalle versus Florida A&M. That's going to be a dandy as well. LaSalle is a powerhouse from Ohio. They know how to play basketball. Kingdom of the Sun is a great, great tournament. If you have not seen a Kingdom of the Sun tournament game, I recommend you do so this weekend. It's Friday through Monday. This will be the first ever game on Sunday for high school sports here in uh Florida, the state of Florida. No basketball game has ever been played on Sunday. Can you imagine that, Tom? Really? Yeah. No. In the state of Florida? State of Florida. First ever. So, the 30th will be the last game. Those will be the championship games. So, there's a lot of action going on in Marion County. Not necessarily doing with the Marion County schools, but national schools, Florida schools coming to play here and what we did a rough estimate earlier this week how much money did you say roughly just roughly guesstimate bring uh, in about sixty thousand dollars so it's good for marion county just more in ways. hotels yeah it's just good for marion rates. county more ways than one i bet it brings over a hundred hundred thousand dollars in uh revenue to the area there's only one thing that really grinds my gear about the whole uh basketball season and different seasons here in marion county when it comes to high school athletics, you can really not be good at all during the regular season, but when it comes time for district playoffs, you can lose all your district games, get seated last in your district, but then when the district tournament comes and you win and beat everybody, then you progress into the regionals. Then if you beat them there, you go to state. I don't understand, just like in the NBA, here in Marion County and here in the state of Florida, you can be absolutely awful during the regular season, but if you show up in the playoffs... You're good to go. Well, that's how guys like Austin Tapman are able to get in the playoffs. So, <laughs> the villages there represent. There, there you go. There you go. All right, Josh. Thanks so much. That's another edition of the High School Athletic Spotlight with Josh LaSalva. Hey, breaking news. Real quick, this isn't sports related, but it is breaking news. The a and channel said it's reversing its decision to drop Duck Dynasty patriarch Phil Robertson for, from its shows. In a statement Friday, a and said it's decided to bring Robertson back after discussion with the Robertson family and numerous advocacy groups. Channel put Robertson on what it called a hiatus, hiatus following its comments in a magazine article about how the Bible informed his views of gays. A&E's decision to a backlash of suspending for those who supported his comments and others who defended him on the basis of free speech. So this just in, after less than a week, A&E, after less than two weeks, a has reversed his decision. Phil Robertson will not be suspended from Duck Dynasty. He is back on Duck Dynasty, not suspended for his comments to GQ magazine. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll give you the headlines of the day. And get you set up for tomorrow's Saturday sports page on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Hey, it's Tom James. I agreed to join Buddy and the gang every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 o'clock to talk sports on The Voice of Ocala. We call it Around the Water Cooler. One hour to solve all the problems in the world of sports. Little did I know just how opposite our opinions would be. How can a group of guys see the same thing so differently? Some days I wonder if it's just water in that water cooler. Join Buddy, Schmitty, JJ, Austin, and me, Tom James, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5. It's Around the Water Cooler on WOCA, The Source. Whenever something big happens in Ocala and Marion County, Buddy Martin is there on the case. John Gruden, ESPN Monday Night Football. 
today, spoke to the group here at the Gateway Bank. I'm going to play a little game of just word association with you. One, Ocala. Ocala is just a great, this is a great community. It's a great group of people. John Gruden coaching again. One of these days, one of these days I'll be back. So remember, always check out Buddy Martin on The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. If you didn't catch a round the water cooler on Buddy's sports page this week, here's what you missed. Are there any bowl? I'll read some off to you that you think are really good bowls that may not be BCS. And which some. ones do you think will be? I got one. You guys want to jump in? Do you yes, have the bowls in front of you? I got one. Oregon, Texas, I think, just yeah, because Oregon. Of what we talked about. Got snubbed for the BCS. Alamo bowl, right? They're yeah. still really good in Texas. Now well, that game. If you can beat Oregon, I mean, that's huge. Yeah, tremendous no... storylines right there. Uh, Marcus Mariota coming back. Mac Brown, maybe not. We'll see. Round the water cooler Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays at 5 o'clock on Buddy's Sports Page, right here on WOCA, The Source. Dr. Seaborn Hunt, a board-certified ophthalmologist, is your comprehensive medical laser and surgical eye care specialist for Marion Lake and Sumter Counties. He offers services for cataract surgery, diabetes, glaucoma, macular degeneration, dry eyes, as well as a routine comprehensive eye exam. Call 873-7200 for an appointment today. No referral needed. Dr. Hunt accepts Medicare as well as most insurance plans and files the claims for you. Dr. Hunt has performed thousands of successful procedures. Call Dr. Hunt at 873-7200. That's 873-7200. Legally Yours, brought to you by Fuller & Fuller Attorneys at Law. On the air every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller, right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, IOAs, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at Powell Gene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Home Store on Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give them a call and they'll come and pick it up. For more information, visit HabitatOcala.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener, Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. WOCA Ocala. You close your eyes. We're back on Buddy Sports Page, wrapping up the hour. Now, we've, it's been a busy hour. We had Powell Latimer on. We had Chris Spears on. We had Jocelyn Salva, so we didn't get the headlines. So now let's go to Austin Tapman for the sports headlines of the day. Correct. I'm going to sound like a doctor. So many players and uh, injury report that all came out today. Dallas, Ow! Okay. Uh, Dallas quarterback, <laughs> Tony Romo, went under the knife, Tom Schmitz. He went under surgery to uh, officially end his season. Jason so has he Garrett, been ruled out now? Has J- I think so. He might, he might so still come Jason back. So Jason Garrett say he's definitely been ruled out of the game now that he had back surgery yes, today? Yes, he's, he's officially out. Uh, Garrett said he's devastated. He puts a lot into this, which means Kyle Orton will start. A man who the last time he played in the NFL got replaced by Tim Tebow. Tebow! And behind Kyle Orton, you have John Kitna. Uh, Donate winner, his entire salary to his high school. Correct. Uh, winner of that game Sunday will win the NFC East title and a trip to the playoffs. Um, Eagles. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. Fly, Eagles, yeah. fly. So uh, we talked about Russell Westbrook yesterday, how he's an integral part of the, the uh, Thunder. He'll be out for the All-Star break. He had, <laughs> until the All-Star break, uh, he had arthroscopic surgery on his right knee. Uh, this doesn't seem to be 
related to his lateral meniscus, which he tore in the second game of the NBA playoffs last year. Um, so he's going to be out. Michigan's big man who played a big part in their run uh, last year, Mitch McGarry. His season's likely over. Wow. Uh, 6'10", 265 pound sophomore, who averaged 9.5 points and 8.3 rebounds. Uh, has had back issues since preseason. He says, my back problems have been a daily challenge ever since late August. So he will look, most likely be out. And the ever so popular Jadavian Clowney. Uh, we heard about him getting a ticket for going 110 miles an hour in a 70 mile hour zone. This was not as bad, but... Another ticket. He was going 84 and a 55. He told went to jail. 84 and a 54. He went told, to jail. Yep. This was on the day that they were leaving to go play the Chick fil A Bowl. He told the cops, uh, I'm late for my game. And the cops didn't, uh, didn't respond to that, so he got a ticket. Spurrier had a funny quote. He said, He needs to go to driving school, doesn't he? Somebody told me he got another speeding ticket today. At least he'll have enough money to pay for it for a week or so on from now. He needs to go to driving school. Hopefully, they'll send them there after the bowl game. Wow. More NFL injury news. Uh, Adrian Peterson's likely doubtful for the game against the Lions. Thad Lewis for J.J.'s Bills is going to start over E.J. Manuel, his second consecutive start. And Wes Welker out for the game against the Raiders. So, just a, a mass unit going on yeah. in the NFL and the Tis NBA. the season to get injured. Russell Westbrook, I didn't see that he had done anything Christmas Day to aggravate his knee or anything. No, this is something that uh, they went in. He said he had some swelling. This is unrelated to his uh, lateral meniscus that he tore, uh, but they said something that showed concern, and they don't want to let it continue because it might get worse. So he's going to be out till the All Star break. So uh, this weekend, some big football games coming up. We got Miami Dolphins playing. If they win, they're in. Right. Uh, if Dallas and Philadelphia, whoever wins that game, they're in. There's another win you're Green in. Bay, oh, Chicago. Green Bay, Chicago. If you win, yeah. you're in. Aaron Rodgers is coming back, by the way. Aaron Rodgers will be playing for Green Bay, Jay. going up against Jay Cutler for the Chicago Bears. A lot of people think Jay Cutler should be, shouldn't be the starter in this game. I'm one of them. You are one of them. Yes. I'm still Josh questionable McCall over Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I think, the, I think the, uh, the Packers will win this game. Right now, Maryland and Marshall playing. What bowl game is that they're playing in? Uh, it's hard to keep up with these games. They're playing. I don't even know what bowl game this is. It's in Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, see, I don't even know the bowl military game. bowl presented the by military Northrop bowl. Grumman. There we go. Grumman. Marshall winning 31-20. Three minutes and 42 seconds left in the game. So uh, give us the bowl lineup real quick, uh, Austin, for the rest of the evening. The bowl lineup for the rest of the evening. Uh, you're going to see Syracuse and Minnesota. And that is the Texas Bowl. Syracuse six and six, Minnesota eight and four. That's at six p.m. Uh, and then you're going to see BYU and Washington at nine thirty in the Fight Hunger Bowl. Let me ask you a question: with this Fight Hunger Bowl? We got the Beef O' Brady's Bowl, the Little Caesars Bowl, the Papa John's Bowl, and the Military Bowl, Wild Wing Buffalo Wild Wing Bowl. Why can't we combine the Beef O' Brady, Buffalo Wild Wing, Little Caesar, Papa John's, and the Fight Hunger Bowl all in one bowl and feed everybody? Because that would be too long of a title. Why can't we do that? I mean, it'd be too long of a title. Title. Point set a bowl. BYU, nine of, eight and four, Washington, eight and four. Are you going to be watching that game at AT&T Park in San Francisco? No. Neither am I. Have yet to watch it. You know the first bowl game I watched in the bowl season? National Championship game. Nope. I will watch, I believe it's tomorrow, Josh. Am I correct? For what? Well, I, Russell I don't know Russell Athletic Bowl. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? Uh, I think so. The University of Miami? Yes, that is tomorrow. University of Miami and the University of Louisville in the Russell Athletic Bowl. I'm watching that game. That's the first bowl game I'll watch in the bowl season. And then after that game, I may not watch another bowl game until New Year's Day. Definitely not watching the Texas game like Josh. Oh, man. Oregon's going to lay about 87. Probably. Hey, let's thank our guest. I'd like to thank uh, Chuck Gallagher. Uh, talking about uh, Phil Robertson, and now we see Phil Robertson is not going to be suspended. Also, I want to thank uh, Powell Latimer from Warchant.com and for uh, Austin Tapman pushing all the right buttons. Don't forget Stephen Fletcher. Stephen Fletcher brought me the Rubik's Cube, yeah. Josh LaSalva here in the studio with me. This is Tom Schmidt saying until tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for Buddy Sports Page, have a good evening. Far and far Bombay, come on and fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away Come fly with me Let's float down to Peru 
In Lama Land there's a one-man band And he'll toot his flute for you Come on, fly with me, let's take off We got it together, didn't we? If you missed Dr. Buddy recently on The Voice of Ocala, you missed the saga of Bob. How Bob deals with his family and a new relationship. The issue is the mind of the children, how they think about it. They don't know what's going on. Right. He still wants to pursue keeping his family together because that's the most important thing to him above For everything sure. else. Yeah. So he says, he's, I said, go back and talk to your ex-wife again and put it back on the table and just say, think about this and give me an answer. Then go to your children and make it known that you said, I don't want to live by myself. I've, I've tried to re- I'm see, see if your mother wants to get back together. If she does, I would like to move back together, right? So be sure to check out Dr. Buddy every Monday afternoon on The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com, The Source. Since 1976, Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer, has been fighting for accident victim justice in North Central Florida and statewide. He believes everyone in America should follow the rules, including the insurance companies. He and his firm have experience fighting for victims of personal injury, wrongful death, workers' compensation, and Social Security disability, as well as serving those in need of help with bankruptcy, simple wills, and estate plans. The mission at the law offices of Daniel L. Hightower, PA, is to represent deserving clients and recover the maximum benefits they are entitled to by law in a timely manner. In personal injury and workers' compensation cases, there are no fees or costs unless a recovery is made. The law office of Daniel L. Hightower is located at 7 East Silver Springs Boulevard, Suite 300. For your free consultation, call 352-629-7777 or 1-888-LAW-1976 and visit danhightower.com for more information. Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice and the proud sponsor of Ask the Cops. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of Auto Check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige, it's all there in our name. Howdy, RL here to tell you about a great deal at Dairy Queen. For only $4.49, you can warm up to a hot, juicy combo of either a foot-long, quarter-pound all-beef chili dog or a tasty, home-style cheeseburger. Smoking hot off the char grill. Both get fries and a drink. You can add a Sunday for only 99 cents. Now that's a doggone good deal at Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where they always treat you like kings and queens. This is a public notice. Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale. Because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to sticker shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding was proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Hi, I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. News Talk 1370. WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370. WOCA. 
Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, The Source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA, The Source. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. Sand is now lifting the suspension of Phil Robertson over his comments about homosexuality and race. a and is partially owned by Disney, parent company of ABC News. More than a million of the country's long-term unemployed will lose benefits tomorrow. President Obama has told two senators proposing a three-month extension in the new year that he plans to push Congress for quick action. Wall Street took a break today. After six days of gains, the markets were fairly flat. The Dow lost a point, the Nasdaq off about 12. Despite a bunch of summertime flops, Hollywood is expecting its best ever year at the box office. The annual take just shy of $11 billion. Attendance remained flat, but higher ticker pro- ticket prices boosted the tally. Hits such as Gravity and The Hunger Game made up for bombs like The Lone Ranger. This is ABC News. Happy Honda Days are here. That means you could unwrap a great deal on a 2014 Accord. Not only is it from KBB.com's best value brand, but it's packed with standard features like hands-free calling. Think that sounds good? Feast your ears on this holiday power ballad from Michael Bolton. Everything's a little more special during Happy Honda Days. See your Honda dealer today. Based on 2013 Brand Image Awards from Cali Playbook, visit KBB.com for more information. A lot can happen during the life of your interstate car battery. Nice ride. Thanks. Want to go steady? I now pronounce you husband and wife. Honey, I think it's time. It's a boy. Jimmy, soccer practice. Dad, can I borrow the car? Hey, nice ride. Thanks. Want to go steady? No battery lasts longer than an interstate, and the new Interstate AGM lasts up to three times longer than the competition. To find a dealer near you, visit Interstate. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Drivers slow an average of 10% after passing a your speed sign, and they tend to stay slower for several miles. A lot of dieters started blogging in order to prove that they were committed to losing weight, and once they started writing about their weigh-ins, they attracted an audience, which made them feel accountable to others. And that connection, it helped them keep going. Sleeping will do more for your grade or your business presentation than pulling an all-nighter. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. How good does it get? Golf has long been considered to be sports' most prestigious game, and WOCA has your connection to everything in the golf world. Every first and third Thursday at 10 a.m., tune in for Let's Talk Golf with your host, PGA professional and teacher to the stars, Jim Beckett, and operations manager for the links of Spruce Creek South, Darren Irwin, right here on The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, Yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we we do that. I need my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Don't ever miss a single edition of the Mike Huckabee Show. We're going to have a whole lot of fun talking the big issues of the day. We'll talk to the newsmakers and the issues that made them a newsmaker, as well as we'll bring you some entertainment, some fun. You never know what's going to happen on the Mike Huckabee Show. Don't miss it. Join Mike Huckabee every weekday from noon to 3 exclusively on WOCA The Source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Life jackets save lives. Wear it, Florida. Today will be mostly cloudy with a shower in places, the high 68 in the northern part of the zone to 77 in the south. Tonight, mostly cloudy and mild with a shower in spots along the coast, those ranging from 60 inland to 68 on the coast. For tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sun with a passing shower, high 76 to 80. Sunday, mostly cloudy and breezy with showers and thunderstorms, mainly early, the high 76 to 80. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. 
Hi, this is Joe from Damage Control Services. Join me Tuesdays at 1030 when we discuss what to do when your property gets damaged, how to fix it fast, and get back on track. At Damage Control, we specialize in helping home and business owners recover from damage caused by floods, fires, storms, tree damage, mold, and all other insurance-related disasters. So when disaster strikes, big or small, call Damage Control Services. Call me, 352-817-6574. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new old-fashioned bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Saving America big money, one listener at a time. Get ready to save more, spend less, and avoid getting ripped off. This is Clark Howard. Welcome you to the Clark Howard Show that's all about your empowerment. I want to tell you, I have more empowerment in my new book, Clark Howard's Living Large for the Long Haul, chock-a-block full of more than 200 tips to help you build a solid financial future for you, and if you have a family, your family as well. But I did something different with the new book. I have inspirational stories of 50 individuals and families situations they found themselves in and how they found a way out to a better life i think you could benefit you may not think so i think you will you can learn more about the book at clarkhoward.com slash book so coming up in a few minutes in today's clark rageous moment there are people who have more money than they know what to do